Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Friday Night Bricks. This is episode 159, and actually I was working on that, and oh, what happened? I was working on it earlier, and then I got sidetracked, hitting playing with something else, and didn't get the, oh, what happened there? I don't know, something. Oh well, it is 150. It is 159. Here we go. We'll change it here. So 159. Um, and so, yep, I'm probably gonna build some. Uh, we'll build some, some maybe some sets tonight. We'll see. Um, whoa. Well, I guess that doesn't work real well. Eh, I guess it shows up there. Um, but. Uh, so yeah, I was over at Old Gray Bricks for just a few minutes. They turn he tur uh, that show turned one year old today, I guess. So just over watching a little bit. Hey Triple D, how's it going? Hey Brett. So um, I have my I have my tang tonight, and of course with my tang comes you know my blueberry my Pacific blueberry sky vodka. So you know we'll see if I'm doing that. Let's hope I got enough sleep last night so I can go a while. Otherwise, it won't go as long. So we'll see. I'm not sure what I'll build tonight. I'm probably going to build... I might build some city sets I got laying around. Maybe the Earhart plane. I got that sitting around, too, that was sitting in a box. Um, I did get the two flower bouquets I had ordered. I got both of those. Uh, I gave one to my mom. Um, not sure if the other one... My, my sister didn't sound like she wanted it. Um, I... Uh, one of the ladies I know down down in southern Wisconsin is uh, a big plant person. She's doing a remodeling project right now in her house. But uh, if she wanted it, I'd you know give it to her. Maybe her and her son, her son who's into Lego, could maybe build it. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but they were available, so I, I got them recently. Um, other than that, I did pick up I picked up a new router too because we have Spectrum up here, and I actually just replaced the router not more than within the two or three weeks. And it dropped last night. I was like, what? I mean, I was trying to do something, and it dropped. And I went up, and sure enough, the, the router was off. Now, I don't know if that's the modem causing the router to go off, but I don't know. So, I mean, the modem was up when I got up there. So, quite uh, quite interesting. So, other than that, um, hey, Will Harper, how's it going? Um, so, it's one of those things, too. I mean, I don't have a full set of Looney Tunes yet. That was what I opened last week. Um, I actually am missing Taz, but I have... Looks like a extra speedy. I probably have a few other extras floating around um, when I opened. And then for anybody who missed it, we did do the live auction on Saturday. On uh, Saturday Night Lego started at four in the afternoon, and it went still went to about eleven thirty at night. So I think in the previous ones, now granted with the seventy-two hour stream in July, I don't know what time it's going to show, what time it's going to be as part of that. Hopefully, he'll probably do it again at early in the afternoon. Hopefully we can get the lists out a little bit quicker so you guys know in a couple weeks in advance of what's going to be on the auction so you know um, if to show up uh, or when to show up or whatnot. And so, um, but it went pretty good. I mean, I sold about half, I sold about maybe 35% of what I had. Some of my lots were too, kind of big, so I didn't sell. They didn't sell. I uh, didn't quite get to reserve, so I'll have to maybe do less. I mean, I probably, if I would have had everything separate, probably would have been. Instead of 16 lots, probably closer to like 30 or so. So we'll see. But they could be a lot quicker too. They wouldn't have to be, you know, three minute auctions. They could be one minute or whatnot. So, uh, but definitely if you're looking into that one, that'll be July for the 72 hour stream. Um, so we'll kind of see. I know we had some snafus with bidders. So um, definitely as we get close to that stream, I'm sure there'll be some emails sent between people and whatnot. So, but yeah, it went pretty good. Did go kind of. Did go long. I mean, it does take a while to go through. I think we did 80 some lots of stuff. So um, I know we had like 63 or 64, and then we added another 16 or 17 lots at the end. <clears throat> we didn't go back through any. So if you hadn't, um, if you, I mean, that was kind of thing. We probably need to probably figure out how to have have a some kind of a. Actually, I had a spreadsheet. I guess I probably could have a spreadsheet that we could have going, so you could kind of see. Because um, all my screens, I probably could have one going with what the items, what the lots were. So if somebody was curious um, what they were, they could have. So, but yeah. So I mean, it was pretty cool. It was good. Um, other than that, I mean, uh, I know a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, people from uh, the YouTube 
Mecca, especially the ones here kind of in the central part of the country, are planning to meet, I think, Memorial Day weekend. I don't think I'm getting down there for that one. We'll kind of see as we go, but I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll kind of see. Um, so I guess, um, I mean, I always need city sets. I mean, I don't really have a city yet, but, I mean, that's always subject to change. I mean, my, my mock table slash build table slash sort table is an absolute disaster right now because I do have I have uh, <laughs> CMFs on one end along with the bins from some of the some of the rough sort and then I also have the boxes for the castle from the last show in the middle because I was trying to take pictures for that ideas contest um, a while back and then I have on the other end I have instruction manuals because I was kind of going through some of those because I have boxes upon boxes of those oh look at that. Look at that. So I guess <laughs> I guess we have to open the book to see which one is first. I guess you can build them in any order you want. I guess you just got to see what bags are what. Let's see if we can see it numbers it. So this is bag two. So let's see. Is this bag one? Little Roadster bag one. I guess we'll see. Uh -huh. It shows the different sets. Probably got to get that jet transporter, but I'm kind of looking forward to the Kind of looking forward to the new Speed Champion stuff. We'll kind of have to see. I mean, I probably should have ordered some of those already through the through the European stuff, but I didn't. I mean, I know uh, TJ ordered some Ninjago stuff that would get here um, in the summer while he's home from school so he can build it. So, um, but uh, yeah, because there's a site in Europe that, in maybe Germany that. Supposed to get them is going to have them in June first. You can order and have them shipped to the U.S. and they just kept these shipping. So um, tempting, tempting. Ooh, ah, look at that. This looks like this might have. Well, maybe not. Maybe it just looks like it on the thing. I mean, they did. They made the they made the graphics look pretty cool on the on the screen. I guess I can't tell if that's new hair or not. It definitely has a lot of bumps on it, but. It looks a lot cooler. It looks a lot cooler in the instruction manual. <laughs> so uh, we'll see who joins me tonight. Uh, it's anybody's guess. Also, as a reminder, folks, be prepared. Uh, the Lego Masters Season 2 will be starting up here pretty soon, too. That's going to be starting up here. Oh, it's, it's going to be a Tuesday night. So a week from this next Tuesday. Oh, geez, another castle builder. We're in trouble now. Okay. Well, that's good, buddy. Um, just quickly, read. Um, I did get your email, buddy. I'm all over it, but Mrs. Brett's asleep and she controls the phone with the PayPal, so I'm sure you get me. <laughs> that's fine. No matter to me. No, no, you're fine. No, no, no. trust me. Your stuff. Okay. Your stuff. Your stuff's got to go through Hoosier, anyways, because those guys are the ones that are preparing. Yeah, the yeah. Package, So, so I yeah, was yeah, yeah, in the box. So basically, I was. Uh, but you'll have to. Um, well, that looks like a cool yeah, yeah, no, I, I did get your email and uh, I've worked it all out. The money's out. I just got to wait for Mrs. Brett to not work 12 hour days. <laughs> they got a new, they got a new axle piece. I guess, I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't know people have, how many people have opened this set, but this is, I guess, the new, the new axle piece. So it's a, it's a brick. With a, I was going to say, can you change the view, Reed? I can't see you, buddy. <laughs> oh, you I can hear you. You want to see me? You, you want to see me? You know, so look at this. So it's it's two pieces. So this snaps on to this. Ooh, what's it say? This is the uh said is this? This is the race buggy transporter. So these are the, this is the this is the this is the new one for the buggy, I guess. So Oh, you know what? You know why? Cuz if you look at it, it actually it'll it'll move. It's an independent. It looks like independent uh it's like almost like kind of like a sh almost like a shock. Okay, let me see. Let me get this the right direction here. So it'll actually it'll actually move a little bit like this. So yeah, so you get a little bit of a little bit of a shock, I guess, type kind of thing too, built into that. So well, seeing how that we're sending, hey Hawkeye, how's it going? Seeing how we're sending a package over there, I I included some other stuff that um you know maybe uh I mean once you look at it, we'll have to see maybe some might be possibly future purchase or possibly maybe a gift or two but since it's going 
I figured I might as well send some stuff and then I don't have to deal with it sending it later. Unless, unless of course, unless of course the box is too full with, without, with that stuff, it's all small stuff, but if the box becomes too full for whatever reason, then I'm sure Uzer will hold on to it and, uh, or whatnot. So we'll see. But uh, I'm I mean, not stressing it. So are you going a for weekend and ring? Yeah. No, I don't yeah. know. Yet. It's still in the air. I mean, Oh, that's like the new fire truck with the plow has the same axles. Okay. Oh, is that that? Like the oh, okay. Yeah, the one that we just auctioned <laughs> this last weekend. I guess I'll I guess I'll see that when I get that. So um I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I mean it's a bit it's it's a 10 hour drive, no offense, but it's just I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I also have three other shows I gotta book hotels for and stuff um coming up. So we'll see. We will see, but yeah, I'm not sure. So, hey, Nerd Brick, how's it going? So, if I missed you, if you join, just you know, just pound on your pound on your monitor. Eventually, I'll eventually I'll hear you at some point, you know. So, <laughs> and if I don't, just make sure you didn't pound so hard on your monitor that anything happened to that. So, but uh, we'll. Uh, I'll catch you as I catch you since I'm building. It's kind of, you know, the uh, monitor doesn't always uh, don't always play catch up very well. So it's going. Uh, it's going. If you don't mind, Reed, can we uh, just say a big thank you to Hoosier Haley and Butt Chop again for doing the auction for us because it was absolutely banging. Yep. It was oh. late at auction, pretty much everything sold. There was a few items that didn't, but. Yeah, they, they really did do well with the auction, didn't they? Yep, I actually, and I actually, as usual, I uh, I tracked it also because I actually like I like spreadsheets. I tracked it. Actually, what's funny is I actually was using Excel the other night to try and track some uh, some financial stuff going on. I actually I enjoy Excel. I was able to build a spreadsheet rather quickly, so I like to track it too. It's a nice backup just in case um, you know, in case something goes too quick and something gets missed. So. But oh yeah, it was good. It was a good auction. I look forward to July. We'll see how well the next one goes. Hey Mike, how's it going? How's it going? What's up, Mike? Pretty good. Pretty good. Hi Brett. It's always good. Uh, you know, I almost might need a sticker just so I can just so you know what number this blasted vehicle is. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we'll pass. I don't know. Hey Brett, are you are uh Hey, are you building the sets you're supposed to be sending out? Who? You. No, my stuff's already gone. Oh. I sent. I sent. I sent it so that it would. Because I mean, obviously, they're all meeting next. Everybody's meeting next weekend, so I made sure I shipped it so it would get to Chris's house. Juju'd want it to his place, so I mean, I shipped his too. So, um, I mean, I need to. I need to actually kind of go back through I mean, and figure out because I think. There's a glitch with uh, some of the stuff for some of the some of the drawings I've done. I mean, I sent out a couple of those door prizes because those people were going to be down there. Um, of course, I forgot to send Willie his uh, the, uh, the boss he wanted. So, I mean, obviously, I guess I wish he'd I wish he'd reminded me for that by saying, "Hey, am I going to owe you for that?" And I could have said, "Yeah, just we'll just shorten what I owe you, and then I can send it with all the stuff." And, since neither of us kind of thought of that, it didn't go. So I'll have to figure that out at a later time. So, but yeah, it all went. I sent, I shipped it. Actually, I think I shipped it yesterday. So it should get there probably early next week. So, I mean, I think, and I think a couple of them are actually going to uh, Columbia down there where Chris lives. So, um, should be fine. Uh, other than that, other than that, yeah, I think uh, everything's good. Did you ship mine? What was I supposed to be shipping to you? Uh, a whole bunch of poly bags. Really? Hmm. Mike, you don't need no poly bags. You need rehab. <laughs> yeah, he does need poly bag rehab, but I don't, you know. <laughs> 
But since See, that, then, that, cost, that costs money, and he's spending all his money on poly bags. So how do you pay for rehab when you're spending your money on? Hey, uh, you know, you guys got to realize too. I am the head. I am the owner of the poly bag support group. So I can only. I don't know how to get help because who's going to help me with my problem? No one. They, they want you. They want you to keep spending more. That's kind of how it goes. I'm the president, and I'm also one of the clients. So this is that's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. This is why they have those new axles, I guess, because they'll actually turn and bounce and all kinds of stuff. That's pretty cool. I like that. So that show some of the sets. Of course, I missed out on some of those. I missed. I haven't. Didn't buy the. Didn't buy the big exploration ship yet. I was kind of hoping I might see it go on sale, but. One place I see it is at Target, and their stuff hardly goes on sale ever. At least not, not to the numbers I would like to see, anyway. So, but you're not gonna get it for free, no matter how much you want. Oh my God, really? I wanted it for free. No, they got actually. What's wild is what's funny is everybody was yapping about those. Everybody's. I, I hear everybody, the, the Star Wars guys, yapping about the five hundred first battle pack. Man, I didn't get mine because so and so grabbed all of them on the shelves. I mean, I actually took a picture the other day at the Walmart's around me, and yeah, if you're if you still need a five hundred first battle pack, just get to the Walmart's, and if nothing else, you know, get to the Walmart's and tell them, you know what, you need to hold me one of these when they come in. Don't sell them all to this to these guys. Then me, save me one. So, I mean, I actually saw a bunch, but. You know, I mean, obviously, I think we're going to see a lot of that stuff for a while, just because I mean, it's like their their production's kind of catching up, maybe. Uh, I'm kind of hoping, actually, you know what? I actually haven't checked. Well, I think I did check my mail, but I didn't see it. I'm kind of hoping I'll see uh, a couple sets. I'm at least one set I'm still looking for, but we'll see. Did so, you? Uh, Huh? Cool, Mark. Go ahead. I was going to say to Reed, did you get any of them um, Legoland sets from Target, Reed? I actually had, I had one of them already. I don't remember which one I had. I grabbed a couple of, uh, I think I had the driving one, and I grabbed the Fire Academy ones, just the little ones. I don't really want the big ones. Um, I because what has happened is there's always a there's a Legoland uh, just or a Legoland area um, at the Brickworld Chicago shows and so usually they have those there and that's where I usually get them like I got the little castle they had and the uh, the train so I mean I usually pick those up when they have those cool things there um, and sometimes I'll hit that I'll hit that store on the way out of town maybe two. Uh, if I leave on like the Monday sometimes. Um, so it's kind of those things where I try, I, you know, I usually have most of them. I mean, you know, and if I really, if I don't have them and I kind of really need them, I'll, I'll figure out a way to get them. So, but yeah, they, I saw them, I saw them and kind of looked at them. So, so I mean, there's a lot, there's a, there's so much out there and it's just, you know, I got to kind of pick and choose and, I guess try to sell 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 sets to buy different sets. I'm kind of waiting for those new speed champions. I guess is kind of what I'm kind of really hoping to see. Kind of almost been contemplating to do what TJ did and kind of order them from Germany, and so I get them kind of early. But we'll see. I haven't done it yet, so we'll see if I decide to. But, but other than that. Um, not really not much like i said i got the flower brocade sets maybe if i get through all this stuff maybe i'll build the the bonsai tree maybe since that one won't be uh won't be the set i need to build with my mom probably the flower bouquet will be the one we do so so what's mike up to tonight so have you seen my house uh, I saw some of it last night before I before I left. So I mean, I like I like the way I like the uh, I like the slash doors um, up by up on the stairs. I thought that was kind of a cool thing that way. I was like, hmm, I have to try that. So I started building my fourth one, I guess. 
before I left. But yeah, yours looks cool. Looks good. You like my roof? Uh, my burning roof of fire. No, uh, I didn't see. It was, I don't think it was. I don't think it was doing that when I saw. It. I didn't get on today at all. So. It was, oh, I was doing it last night. Yeah, no, I, 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 I was falling asleep last night, so I got off and went to bed. So. Figured if I, you know, because I was working on that one thing and I was just, I was making a lot of mistakes and stuff, and I'm like, oh, God, so. I had put, I had put, uh, I had put some, uh, um, netherrack or something. The line. Huh? Put fencing up there along yeah, the roof line. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I looked at it. it kind of looked like kind of like what I had over on the one that I had, but I mean, that's. And then I put fire on top of all the fencing. Oh, thinking maybe we're going to use like nether rack or something. But yeah, no, I didn't really look at it too much, but I looked at it briefly. I think I can't, I think I went in there before you got on. And I think I kind of mm -hmm. walked through it just to kind of see. And then when you got on, you were doing your thing and I was back kind of doing my thing. So building the, building the walk and uh, they're extending the walk and, Left that one uh, rock face area in case uh, in case Haley jumps comes on that on that world. You know, she I think that one in the one that I think with uh, Chris or whatever she had her house in the uh, in the rocks. I figured you know maybe that was what she kind of liked, so I left that open and then just kind of was working on another house. So yeah, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Might get in there tonight. Might not. We'll kind of see how the night goes, but. Um, when did you get a horse? Huh? Um, uh, my, why do you have a horse? My horse is my horse is over a ways away, it's like the the six hundred thing or whatever. Because it's uh, I used it to ride to explore. That was where I got all my birch trees. So it's sitting in a giant cage, cage uh, at the like the six hundred. If you go to like six hundreds and the rest, kind of like kind of what we're at now, it'll you'll see it. So. No, you currently have a horse in your in your paddock. Hmm. Uh, he must have. He must have decided the place looked cool enough to hang out, so he probably just decided to stay. I did not add him of my free will. So. I'm trying to find a saddle real quick. Uh, there might be some in the in the in in my brown house. If you look around. Look towards the food on the back side, the food one or the one next to it. I think there's a boatload in there, I think, if I'm not mistaken. One of the one of the one of the uh, crates has a bunch. I know that. I saw them. They were somewhere. So, so I take it you're in the world right now, I take it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yes, sir. Boo -boo. So that's cool. So not sure. I know there's. I know Old Gray was one year old that, tonight, so he might be. He was streaming earlier. Uh, Tasman was streaming, so I'm not sure who's all. Uh, Taz was finished. Reed. He finished. Okay. It, it looked, yeah, it looked like. Yeah, it looked like he had actually started a couple hours ago. So, um, yeah, actually, yeah. So it looks like Fazum is done too. So his was uh, about an hour. Or so, I, that's where I was before I came in here. I kind of jumped in that one to kind of. Wish him a happy birthday because I kind of watch that a little bit once in a while. I think they usually stream generally on Thursdays. I think is it what night? Yeah, they do Monday and Thursday, read. Okay, so yeah, so I actually yeah, yeah. Good, guys. good guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, Girls. yeah, those guys actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Fazum and one of the other guys actually designed those the Star Justice and the. The other, the couple of the old uh, space sets. I actually have them both. I, I, in my store, they didn't sell very well when I worked for Lego, but I know when they went on sale at one point, I bought a, I bought them both. You know, because I thought they were pretty cool. They had cool elements. I mean, actually, back in the old days, I actually really didn't buy much. Full price. I think I bought almost everything on sale. That's probably why I never got the market feed and all that stuff because I walked probably right past it in the store. I'm like, eh, I don't think I need that, you know, type kind of thing. Unless Mr. Hinkle talked me into it. 
you really need this. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he did talk me into the Star Wars uh, Republic shuttle. Talk me in that one. He's like, oh, you, you probably you should have this. You should get this one. It's damaged. You'll get a, you know, it's you know. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. So that set hasn't been sold out of my out of my collection because that's kind of it's got that nice memento to it. This is the one that I know Kevin sold. Me. Uh, and the Eiffel Tower actually probably shouldn't sell either. That that was kind of that was one of the other guys. His his friend uh, Dan that he went to school with. That was one of our one of the soups out in Colorado. He sold me the Eiffel. Oh, are you sure you don't want this Eiffel? It's it's damaged. Sell it to you for like you know eight or nine uh, grab bags. I'm like, Ooh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. You talked me into it. Not too much stuff, but slowly getting through the backlog. Slowly getting through the backlog. So. That's kind of a neat car. It's a neat one. Can't complain. Looks kind of nice. I'm gonna have to figure. I'm gonna. And then this horse disappears. What? You give it free rein, it'll run away. That's what happens, man. My question is, what the heck are you doing with the building that you're made out of stone? Out of building made out of what? Stone. Oh, the, oh, I'm, there's, well, there's, a, a, there's a house in a town nearby that I, I really kind of I like the way the, the deck and all that is. So I was kind of playing with that um, idea. So I was kind of playing with that to kind of see how it was and kind of just playing with that so it's, you know so just for it'll be just the uh it'll be just the uh the deck the the the, pat, the the front patio that's the only place it'll be like that so no i'll probably have to take these you know now that i built these i'll throw out and make them eight wide so they're more realistic so i can have two people sitting side by side i gotta build next i gotta build the trailer yeah, you know, I experiment a little bit. Like I said, I was just building those houses, so. Remember that one still a, a uh, uh, what is it, you know, furnish yourself type kind of thing. Furnish and finish yourself type kind of setup. So that one, uh, that one's still that way. So that one I'll have to get done at some point, but. I don't know, just kind of, just playing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing pick a brick, Hawkeye should get back to, you know, I mean, it might still take a while, but it might. I mean, I guess we'll find out from Hoosier and those guys because, I mean, they're going to the they're going to the store Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be pretty close to when, you know, because I, I know in, in Wisconsin, I know ours – our mask mandate ends here coming up June 1st, but the federal one might still take precedent in some spots. I, don't, I mean, in the end, I mean, if, if it's pretty much primarily for stacking of stuff, I could see, uh, you know, it'd be nice to get back. For me, it's like, I just haven't thought the selection's been very good the last few years. So to me, it's like, I mean, maybe if it gets back to normal to where they actually get, you know, good pieces again or some good pieces, I mean, it might be good from that standpoint. We, I mean, have, clear, we have clear on the wall right now. Probably the clear slope two by two, I got. Nope. One by two. The one by two by two window panel. Two by two tile. What? A one by two tile. Really? I mean, I we'll play them. Oh. No way. You do? Yep. Mike, don't swear at him. Oh, my God. If you do, wow. Maybe instead of going to Nashville, I'm going to be driving up to the up to Minneapolis. We did as of Friday. Wow. As of well, Friday. Friday. That's Friday. Oh. Well, that means that maybe it's back on the list. Is Who's the manager up there still? Is it still? Uh, still the been? same crew, Kevin and. Oh, so it's yeah. so, okay. Well, I might still have his email floating around somewhere. Mail the email. You don't ever tell anybody the truth on an email. 
Huh? You don't tell nobody nothing on the email. You want to tell you if you call them. Huh. If call the store. If he knows you're a lug member, the answer is come in and look. Well, okay. Well, I mean, I'll call. I'll, I'll ask, maybe maybe if I talk to him, I, I, you know, maybe you never know. So you're an out of towner, so maybe you get different results. Maybe he knows, who, he knows who I am. Plus, plus he might know me too, is because I was I'm an ex employee too. So I think I met him. I think I met him a couple times. Because I, mean, anyway. I, I mean, and actually, who else? Who's the other one that? Who's the really? Who's the woman that worked up there forever? Uh, Randy. No, there was. Oh Judy. no. She, huh? Judy. Judy. That Judy's the one I know. That's the one that. She don't work there no more. I know. I might maybe I'll have to just maybe give her a give her a jingle email or something. Say, Judy, I need you to run an errand for me. You have her number? She, well. I know how. To, I know how to probably get a hold. I can probably get a hold of her if I needed to. Like. She's a log member. Yeah. She's a, she used to run the, uh, I probably have her email because she used to run the, uh, she used to run the auctions for Brick World Chicago. So I'm sure I have sent her emails over the years like, hey, Judy, this is what I'm bringing. And she'll be like, oh my God, look at all that beautiful stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. God, you know, got to give some stuff away once in a while. So hey, can you that giveaway word? I tell you, Reed, careful with that word, mate. Careful. Well, I actually it's I give it, I give it to the auction and then they auction it off like we did this last Saturday, but all the money goes to charity. Yeah. So, so I mean I mean I actually I Why actually you give I, all the money to who's his wife. I gave I <laughs> I gave I gave the I actually gave them the Arctic or the R tick Batman set the one year, the one that was misspelled. I think that set sold for fifty or two hundred dollars, or like a twenty dollars set. But because it was a the mit, one of the misprint ones, it went crazy. That was kind of wild. I love finding stuff like that. I actually did pull at one point pull a couple of the Batman keychains right before they were getting retired. I don't remember what the problem was with them, but they're somewhere in my collection, I'm sure. Uh, August, September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably August, September sounds like probably a good time for maybe when they'll be probably possibly back to somewhat normal. So be kind of cool. Well, thanks, Mike. I guess I'll, I guess, uh, you know, I think I'll have to make a call, I guess. Are they open right now? Can I just pick up my phone call right now? <laughs> the Lego store? I'm sure they're open. <laughs> I could just see myself muting myself uh, and, and calling. I will I will tell you though that I am if they still have them, they don't have many of them. Why? How many did you buy? Well, I only got two I only got two cups, but and not of them, but of other things. But there are there are other people waiting to get on the wall. Oh, because they're still limiting people one person at a time on the wall. Yeah, and they won't prepackage cups for you either. Well, they won't. Nope. I would have to get someone to do it for me, anyways. Hmm. Well, I have bad news for you. I just heard back from one of the employees. Yeah. They do not have they do not have them on the wall anymore. Well, if you have an employee that you're talking to, find out if they if they're if they're on the list. If they're on the list that they can order from, all you have to do is just order them. Order some order some cases and then, you know. I mean, that's kind of the thing. That's what I did. I mean, back in the old days, if you can order them, if you're one of the stores that can order them, that's what I did. I'd order Knowing, let's say I knew I had money, let's say I won $800 bowling moonlight. And I'm like, okay, well, this next week, this next order, let me put five or six box cases on, knowing I'll put two on the wall and probably buy two cases worth of cups of plates. I mean, that's how I did it. I mean, that's how most stores probably would do it. I mean, if there's, 
if they know there's people out there, they're building stuff, you know, you know, I mean, plus clear plates are usually pretty good anyways, especially people building architecture. Um, if you're building houses, if they don't have windows, those will work for windows. It'll give you the nice um, frosted type windows you'd use in the bathroom anyway, stack them as plates. So they'll, they'll give them that brick look. So, oh, look at this. Actually, I have another Minneapolis contact here. Maybe he'll go to the store for me and get me some clear plates. Oh, how often, like, yeah, how often you get to, yeah, how often do you get to the store, Jesse? Well, you know. I, I order everything online. I haven't been to the mall in America since before COVID. Well, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Mike, Polybag Mike here said they, they had the plates on the wall the other day. I mean, obviously, I shouldn't really need any more. I got 125,000 plus of them. But, you know, always having more as a cushion never hurts you know it's like i loan them i loaned i loaned uh i loaned the other jesse i loaned him a bag of four thousand a couple months ago for uh for a group collab i think he's been working on a uh he's been working on some water stuff for the collab we've been working on yeah so so how's jesse tonight i'm good uh, you got you got your you got your drink tonight because I got my I got my tang. Okay. <laughs> and with my tang, I've mixed I've mixed with my tang, I've mixed my 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 sky blueberry vodka. So. Oh wow. Okay. So Reed's drinking this week. Watch out. Oh, wow. Friday night breaks. Okay. I can get a cerveza. Maybe you know Friday Friday night. It could it might turn into Friday night drunks. And if that's the case, we just need to we need to teach Kevin how to drink and maybe we'll invite him back, you know. So we're gonna build the plane. We're gonna build Amelia Earhart's plane. This the gift that purchased. You know, like I said, I mean, I build stuff. I don't hold on to this forever. I mean, I, you know, my have to. Right. I'm ready. Oh. Salute. Oh. Salute. 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 <laughs> Mine isn't well, a plastic bottle, but it is. It is. But that way, I could shake it without having to stir it. It's, it's, uh, it's a hot summer day. Seems like for for a cold beer, sounds all right to me. What is, what is Juju the Kentucky Deluxe? Oh, maybe, maybe. But uh, the question is, does he really mix it with the tang, though? If not, I mean, this is this is this is the real thing here, you know. All right. So All right. what's what's uh, what's Mister Mister Galaxy up to tonight? Man, I've been like building a little foundation on my Avengers tower, and it's mm. behind me. It's like getting pretty big. Mm. Oh, this sounds. This looks like this looks like a time for the big screen. Mm. Tell us about the mosaic, Jesse. Come on. Ooh, look at that. So this part's uh, next, but that's got to hold the Avengers Tower on top of it. The inside is kind of... Uh, oh, so is that the arc reactor or whatever? I got the arc reactor in there, yeah. Oh, some piece, something fell out the front. I, yeah. <laughs> I put some uh, pieces in here. Yeah, there's there's one laying out in front too. Oh, pull up. Uh, so I've been working on this for like three days straight, and it's like coming together super good. How tall is that going to be when it's done? What are you thinking? Uh, well, the tower, the Avenger Tower, is like three feet, and this is going to be another one foot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add the bottom to the tower I already have. But oh, I, okay. The balance is uh, trying to make this open, and then uh, made this next level pretty sturdy. So this is like a super plate, super <laughs> brick. It's like yeah. plate over plate over plate. Yeah, I did that with my uh, the one the mountain that went on my that old uh, music speaker I had. So I actually I built something like that, a super plate, but then it had the hole in the middle, so it actually sit over the globe. So you know, yeah. I could pull it off, and that was, you know, make make beautiful music. So That's this pretty thing's cool. uh, 40, 48 studs wide, and uh, okay. I got a 32 by 32 Avenger Tower that needs to sit, like, right here. So at oh. this level, I think that's where the tower is going to sit. Right. Okay. Now, does that does that second level just kind of sit in there then? Does it just kind of – does it sit in there, like, with a uh, – like a recess or is it actually got like the studs that it actually attaches to on the lower level? Yeah, I haven't done the studs. So right now it's super loose. 
those were the loose pieces that I've, I've put in 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 there. I was uh, re I was going to do the recess thing, so it, it oh, just okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts together. Just, yeah, the recess stuff probably be pretty easy to do on the in the corner. Hey, but I'm, right there, how I'm we doing? pulling it off and building on it still, so uh, I want it nice and flat on the ground so I can like get all oh, the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Once you're done with that, you you can do the other thing. Mr. Wagner, how we doing? Good, good. Uh, how's all y'all doing? Uh, we is all doing good, as far as I'm aware. Did you hear? Did you hear Mr. Polybag Mike say that there's a possibility of one by two clear plates being up in the Minneapolis Lego store, or at least there was. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's taking up a spot for a good piece on the wall. <laughs> what would you no, consider, what would you consider a good clear plate? Well, you know, I mean, the the walls had tons of good pieces over the years. I mean, tons of them. I actually have a lot in my collection. What are you looking for? Just let me know. I probably have a boatload of them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, I made a trip down to Chicago last weekend. What would you get there? What'd you get? What's in that cup? Anything good? No, it's all bad. Okay. Um, I've got two by two round macaroni tile in dark red. Oh, okay. I've got the one by one uh, tan brick with the design element. In, uh, and in tan. It's been fine one year. And then these uh, vertical teeth pieces. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In in white, right? In white, correct. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've seen those before. Hand. Yeah, I haven't had none of those. I had the. I think I've had the teeth before. I think I got those ones before. And then one by one, trans yellow, tie round tile in the bottom here. Yeah, um, yeah. those are brackets. good for lights. Yeah, those are good for lights. I think I got uh, some of those one at one by, point. One by two by two tan slopes, some tan cheese slopes. Oh, those are actually kind of nice. Yeah. Well, all of this is kind of nice. <laughs> uh, and then some one by two dark blue plate. Uh, I think that's about it. And then I picked that's up a couple tape. of these. Those sticker packs. Yeah, those are actually pretty. Those I think I bought a couple of just because I thought they were pretty cool too. Didn't yeah. you see how many of those uh, how many of those dark one by two plates will end up going into like uh, the next uh, Brickmania Corsair? That'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I'd like to see one of those rebuilt. But you know, so that's cool. So that was down at the Chicago store, at Woodfield, uh, or different one. That was at uh, Schomburg. Yeah, which is Woodfield, I think, yeah, and the then one Dirty Mills. Oh okay. Oh, it, how's uh, how's what's his name doing these days? He's still down there, isn't he? What's his name? Uh, God, I can't think of. I can't. Uh, John, how's John doing? Right. Uh, good. He wasn't in today, or it wasn't in that day when I was there. Oh, so. Yeah. 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 I haven't seen him. I haven't talked to him in a while. Well, we haven't had any Chicago shows. I mean, that's you know, I usually talk to him. You know, I mean. So that's cool. I wonder how close he is to uh, ten years. He'll be getting close, I think. He's been there a long time. My, uh, I've had internet issues for the past two months on here down in the basement, so we'll see how long I last. Yeah, I actually, my, we actually have been having issues lately too. The, I replaced the router too, so I'm wondering if I'm having, I wonder if it's a modem issue now, but. I actually bought a new router. Uh, just Walmart had one on sale. I, well, I might try it and see. I never was. I never was a fan of any of the equipment by the companies, Comcast, whatever. Just because if it goes bad, I mean, obviously if it goes bad, they'll replace it. But I like to just try yeah. to get a little, little bit better than what they generally offer for the most part. So. Yeah, they're interested in, in keeping it decent, but not keeping it in, in yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean that router. I mean, obviously we had, and yeah, it just oh, it just wasn't. We had, we already went through one, and then I'm kind of worried that maybe we kind of lost another one, maybe. So. Decided to go another route. 
So okay. other than that, not much. You're just going to sort those, huh? Well, I haven't been doing much Lego recently at all, so I need to really catch up and get some stuff done. Yeah, I got. A, I probably got a. I got a reserve. I got to still get a hotel room for uh, Bay Beach. I was gonna do it the other day. I forgot to do it. So. You do. So, probably. I think I was staying at like I was thinking of staying here at the Days Inn. I think maybe is like what I was thinking. I South, don't know hotels around here that well. Huh? I don't know hotels around here that well, so I can't give you a good recommendation. That's fine. It's. I think it's. Uh, there was the hotel I was looking at was south of. Uh, South of the park. Yeah. Well, there's nothing, I mean, anywhere in Green Bay is going to be within 15 minutes. So even mm -hmm. Madison is, is much harder to get around than Green Bay is. Yeah. Where's my brick separators? Brick separator for a sticker. Hmm. Well, I have to use my knife, I guess. Someone earlier misplaced it. it. Disappeared on me. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Looks like Jesse's contemplating his next move. Yeah. Yeah. Some architectural elements. Uh, tricky angles on. Piece to well, that was interesting. I don't think I've ever done that, but okay. How are those pan slopes going to be something you can use for the uh, for the for the base? Yep, theoretically. May actually be some value to those. It could be good. And that was the one by two by one by two by two. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then I'm extremely excited for the sheet. For the what? The sheet. Oh, yeah. That's like one of the best pieces that could have come out for me as a builder. Yeah. I can't remember now. What, is that, what, what kind of set is that going to be? Is that, is that going to be a, a Mickey Mouse set? Oh, okay. The Mickey and Donald's arm. <laughs> now, is that, was that a junior set or is that going to be a, uh, it's a, a. I don't think it's juniors. I think it's just along the lines of a, a basic or a creator. Oh, okay. Are you uh, striking the pose, Jesse? Uh, yeah, I'm just yeah thinking. This is me in deep thought. Contemplative <laughs> mode. I pretty much know what pieces I have. I got a weird uh, spot above above this building here, and. It's I, I snotted a plate on here, but it's uh, is the top going to come off, or is it going to be a direct connection? It's 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 connected with the uh, studs, but on the corner, yeah. it doesn't like. Uh, I mean, this this one too wide doesn't fit straight down. But if I go one and then and then plate over it, I can do two down like that and kind of hide that part of the window. Yeah. I don't so I'm wondering like what pieces to put two by two type of pieces like this. You could, well, you could do a, a one by tile and then a cheese slope down from that essentially, or do the, the two by two slope, which is always one of my favorite parts. Are you trying to recreate something specifically? I'm trying to keep the, the color scheme kind of mellow. I'm using the sand green windows as pretty much the only color. 
Well, Otherwise, sand green two by two curved slopes are pretty. Uh, I, I've seen those on the wall recently, but I don't know how many you have right now. Ah. Uh, I was gonna pull up the two by two. Uh, I was gonna the curved slope ones. Yeah. There's my bin of two by two. Mm, yep. There's quite a few sand green ones in there, actually. Yep. They're not in a baggie, so I'd have to dig them out. Oh, you'd have to have enough, right? What's going on there? What is it? Who's, who's that? What is that? Sounds like someone's ringer. Let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. I'm stuck it. Stuck stuck in your. That sounds like a British ringer. So I'm guessing it's Brett. No, it wasn't. It was actually was it? It was my. Let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket. I like that. I'm. 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 Let me out. I'm stuck in your. I'm stuck in your pocket. <laughs> okay. I like that. That's actually pretty good. I might have to get that for when I'm working in the stores, sir. There's something going on with there's something. There's some weird noise coming out of your pocket. Oh yeah, there is, isn't there? No, I don't know Munchkin. There, it's pretty good. So Mike, Mike stepped away from his computer, obviously, and his phone or something is stuck there, and it was going off. That's, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, he's muted right now. I muted him, so I was like, because if I unmute him, you'll hear it again. <laughs> I was I was hoping it wasn't like a show or something. I was like, oh, I don't need any like copyright strikes. I said, what is that? And so that's why I was thinking. I saw Wagner Jr. behind him doing something on an iPad. I'm like, what is, that? is he playing a game or something? And No, he's taking pictures of his build. Oh, okay. Taking pictures of this build, nice. Alexa, spell clear. Mike, I had you muted because uh, something was something was trying to get out of your pocket or wanted out of your pocket. Something was. Something was stuck in your pocket. Let me out. <laughs> I take it that your phone ringtone or one of them. That's his burner phone ringtone. Oh. Maybe. No, that's the text that I sent out to get a response from. Unfortunately, I was out of the room when I came in. But as far as they can tell me, no, they can't order them. Really? Oh. It was just a weird box that showed up. That would be unique. Yeah. Uh, that that sounds like that does that actually doesn't surprise me. That does sound like something Lego would do. So I'm buried in the warehouse somewhere. Hey, look, where'd this come from? Well, your respect for Lego just exudes through your, your comments. Reed. Well, thank you. Hey, Triple D, honey. How are you doing tonight? Uh, yeah, Nurbrick. Nurbrick said he's only been to the Lego store once. Well, I mean, when I lived close to one, I was there like pretty much two or three times a week, but... I do not live close to one anymore. Be lucky if I get there maybe once or twice a year. Unless, of course, Chicago's going on, and I'm sure people will talk me into going over there a couple times. Jesse, Nerd Brick. Oh, that's a comment for you. Oh, hey, Nerd Brick. Thanks, man. Hey, Copa Gordy. Welcome, welcome. Figured out where he got those. Uh, I'm stuck in your the pocket. Booty. I put I'm stuck in your pocket on YouTube. And I figured it out. Um and, and when I did it Yeah. Put it down. It keeps 
Something. Yeah, it's one of the more annoying ringtones, and um, I I don't ignore it because it bothers my wife. <laughs> Unless of course she's not in the room either, and then she can't tell you to turn it off, right? Okay. Hmm. Oh, that is such lame. You say lame, I can say lame. Open the sucker would actually. Uh, it would have been cool if this would have, it would have been cool if this fit a minifig. I might have to, I have to doctor it, I guess. Hey, Reed, have you ever figured out if you can do a clear minifig? Um, there's, a, there's somebody that's made them. I got some somewhere. Um, someone, Someone's made a couple of, of the... Translucent. Let me see. I had. I don't know if I have them here. I, have, I saw them one time. Here, they're in storage. Crossed them recently. I had a bunch of them. Uh, like somebody is, was selling a lot on the Creations for Charity auction here. So I bought. Uh, I bought the lot that had all the different ones in there. I don't know what I did with those. I saw them recently, but I don't know where I did where, where they went. Um, but yeah, somebody's somebody's molded uh, like all the different colored ones at one point or another. I think. Not a bad idea, Wagner. You're muted. I'm muted? No, Wagner's muted. Oh. That curve slopes? Oh, nice. Yeah, that works. I work with that pattern. I don't know if that looks too. That looks pretty good. That's different. Looks good. Yeah. All right, let's see if I have enough to go all the way around. <laughs> that's always the question, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the next question. If not, if not, you'll have to see if the Lego store has some. You know. I think I think I can do it. I'm saying I can do it right now. There's plenty of. Gray studs on the side. And that took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green ones. So I'll need 30 more, about. That is a different look. Yeah, I use the curve slopes in a lot of my builds. I yeah, I do a lot really of. Like them a lot. Yeah. Um, trying to think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've done that technique. Other than for like a canopy, you know. Yep. Yep. But yeah, at this level, not bad. I like it. Let's see what happens when I make it all the way around.
got me stuck. Got me uh, unstuck from my little rut there. That's thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's oftentimes I'll build, and if I'm if I'm working towards a show, I'll work on multiple builds and get to a point that I don't know where to go, and then like and then I'll typically build in the weekend. So then throughout that week, I'll often think of, oh, why don't I try this or why don't I try that, and then come back and try to come up with a solution. So yeah, that's usually my method. I've been going bananas for three days straight, just kind of not stuck. And uh, this part was tricky, though, with this. Uh, I'm using the big wedge wing or whatever plate oh. yeah. uh, for that angle and uh, locked it down pretty good so that I know it's going to hold the weight of the tower. All right, a couple of those, a couple of those. All right, lock it down with this. I do have enough sand here. It might be the gray ones that I have less of. Maybe I'll go with more sand green. So when did you go? When did you go down to Chicago, Kevin? Was that uh, last last weekend or what? Yep, last weekend. I went visited uh, my sister-in-law. Oh, he did. He froze up. Ham radio. Well, while he's froze up, I want to say hello to Bubba and hello to Cheap Ass. No, Welcome hey, back. Guys. Bubba Brick. <laughs> Cheap Ass Brick. Welcome, Bubba. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? How's the castle going, Brett? Yeah, it's okay, buddy. Uh, I managed to snipe some of Reed's um, secret stash of castle figures in the auction. So there's some, some new ones coming over. <laughs> nice. They won't be missed. Mm -hmm. Okay, then tell me all the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not fair. <laughs> so I saw you done a mosaic, Jesse. That looked quite good. My mosaic from the, yeah. From the Instagrams, was it? Oh, I did uh, Ultron and uh, on Ahsoka. Now, do you use any kind of a special program at all for when you're trying to de design the layout or anything for that? A um, little of both. Uh, Ahsoka, I had a pattern, and it came out great because it had a dot-to-dot -dot pattern. But for Ultron, it wasn't set to a pattern, so I used an app to kind of get the lay of the face, but... The mosaic didn't really, like, the app didn't really create. He's got too many lines, like, you know, the metal's torn and the eyes are all uh, jagged. So I had to freehand that one a lot. But is there is there a program that you can kind of start with at all when you're doing something like that or not really? Yeah, I, I, I usually do try to put an image into a program, but it usually doesn't give me the right tone. 
I was thinking of maybe trying to do something like uh, some of it sometime in the future. So, yeah, from what I hear, you can you if you got the right program, you can actually change the colors and kind of fix the fix the tones. Uh, I kind of wanted to paint one basically with just freehand it. Um, hmm. So it turned out pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I say that would be too many steps missed to go from that to that. There we go. I was like, wow. All right, I got two or four sides done. So let's see if I can do the other two sides here. No problem, looks like. Always good. What are you building tonight, Reed? Well, I built the uh one of the four by four vehicles for city, and then I'm working on working on Malia Earhart's plane, the one that was that mm -hmm. night. So, oh yeah, building that one right now. So, obviously, you know, trying to you know keep you know trying to change my image from from hoarder to builder, you know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta it's good to have a collection. Do something. I did. I did. I did auction some off this last weekend in the in the uh, auction. So uh, got rid of some stuff. Not a ton, but some. Yeah, I was on there for a little while. I was lurking a little bit. You done very well to let go, Reed. You let a lot of things go. You did well. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. The could have done better. I needed some more parts. Yeah, and if we're talking percentage of your collection, it was a drop in the bucket. Please. A drop in the bucket. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Half a percent Wagner, if, if that. What was that? Yeah, that's, that's possibly. Wag, uh, uh, half a percent. <laughs> yeah, well, I doubt it. I doubt it's that much. You know, but whatever would be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, you're right. It might be. It might that might be stretching it a little bit. But on Reed's defense, he did try to sell, and he was scammed on a couple of things. Well, actually, I think only one. I only got scammed on the on the crossing, which is fine. It'll live to fight another day. Uh, Reed, you didn't read the re rules in the auction. You're supposed to send me any sets that you were scammed on. Really. Yeah. And I get to and I get to charge you double. Well, sweet. If I get to charge you double and I get to send it to you, sweet. That's a good deal. I'll I'll, I'll send you the invoice. Or was it triple? I can't remember. It was double or triple. I think it was only triple to people called Mike. Really? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Not a poly bag, you got. Yeah, I didn't get scammed. I didn't even actually put any in the auction. It was quite humorous, too. I was like, I probably should have. No. no, we just, you know. I don't think it probably would have sold, anyways. I mean, I don't, I, it was, that was the, the only person really bidding was that person. And I bid on it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> They were the closest one to reserve, and they still didn't even hit reserve, but they were the closest, which was quite numerous that they weren't even interested in trying to do it. Obviously, they, you know, that probably should have been an, inst an indication right there when they upped their bid. You know, we do it occasionally as a joke, but, you know, or if you really want it, 
thinking someone's going to snipe you like Willie, you know. Well, you know, but with them castle figures, read it was between me and Triple D, and my need was greater. Well, <laughs> in my eyes, my need was greater. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Well, possibly, you know, there's that also that chance that maybe your wallet was a little deeper too than theirs. Maybe you just never know. Or your fingers were quicker, you know, for the bidding. You know, it's... I, I don't know. I have studied Willie's form for about three or four months. I would say I'm near, near pro, you know. <laughs> um, Brett, you study Willie's form? I'm not sure if you want to publicly announce that. Everyone knows that Willie's the Snipe King. Oh, I think Bama had everybody schooled on that night. Oh, yeah, he shocked that one. It was like... Yeah, Wham. but you say that Haley's Snipe was just as good and probably quicker. Yeah, but Haley also knew when the damn auction was going to be over. <laughs> That's true. I think... Uh, Bama, you just, he wasn't even, he wasn't even around until he jumped in there at that one year later. I was like, where did he come from? I think they're going to, we're going to, they're going to have to come up with some rules for the auction, though. In the, in the future, we're going to have to set it up so that there's some way of knowing who the people are bidding before they bid. That's fine. Well, you guys stream for quite a while, so you can have a, uh... We only uh, stream for like seven hours or eight hours. Nothing right. Better, so, you know? so the first hour could be uh, vetting people. Orientation. <laughs> yeah. I think they're more can thinking of like getting an email from each person that has their real name and their screen name. Yeah. You know, so that could be the first half hour, hour. If there's anyone new, speak up now and we'll research and share your info and Otherwise, ignore any other posts. Because, of course, you know, like my bid, nobody really needs to. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's a dozen or two dozen people there regularly. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple. There's a couple mics out there. We just got to watch out for those mic, mic characters. They're just. Yeah. You know, Jesse, when I set up my, my YouTube name, I thought. Okay, I'll just use my name, you know, no big deal. Yeah. And then a couple of people came to me a couple of weeks after I set it up, and they're like, you know that there's 875,000 Michaels <laughs> or Mikes? <laughs> on right. And it's like, oh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to you gotta have something unique, but uh, you don't want to be completely anonymous. So I think you went with a good choice this year. Kept the mic in there and just added the poly bag. That's pretty good. Well, I put it up for a poll for all the people in our one chat one night. Oh yeah, there was there were some. There were, I think the I think some of those other ones were much better choices. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, there were some other ones that were not so appropriate. Yeah, I know that was the one I was thinking. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be known as that in the rest for the rest of my life. Funnily enough, it was available there, Mike. <laughs> well, I assume it still is. <laughs> you, never, not, you never know. He might have to change his name again. He might. He might still show up as that. You just never know. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't think anybody would really want that name. Here we go. We're done. We is done with. The pain. The pain is done. The plane, oh, the pain. We, there we go. And of course, it of course doesn't see the minifig, of course, which is nice is disappointing. You know, they, they should have made it so it'd be like almost like your like your micro fighter, like a you know, micro plane where they could have had a, like a nice oh, yeah. and obviously, the, way, the way they built the wings, you probably couldn't have with unless you built another built a little bit more out here. So like because a Star Wars it's like Star Wars set and they had the little stand with the guy on the side. Yeah, yeah. Just missing the uh
You have the ability to actually sit in the cockpit of the plane, you know. Small stuff like that. Well, she was in the cockpit so long flying over the ocean, she yeah. didn't want to go back in. Obviously. She went to stretch her legs with a swim. She just wasn't supposed to do it while she was still flying. Well, what do we build now? I guess maybe a tractor. I thought I built one of these already. Maybe not. We're building a tractor. A tractor. Yeah. Good set, that one, Ray. Good set. Building, we're building a farming equipment, you know, since we don't generally get it very often, I might as well build the little ones that we get. So I can decide if I want to go buy another half dozen of them and then have them sit in my collection so I can sell them in, you know, 10, 20 years for boatloads of money. When they wait another 20 years to do the next farming set, so. For 30 years, you know. You really think those tractors are going to be worth millions of dollars? They might be. Yeah. The last time they did farming theme was 2009. That's 12 years ago. Now they give us a tractor. And they give us a tractor and a truck. You know, come on. It'll be worth boatloads. What are you talking about? Okay, let's change this pattern a little bit. I did have fun though. They they posted that the gold coin went live yesterday. Um, I saw a couple. Some of you in my lug mentioned it. I'm like, oh great! So I went and looked. I'm like, sold out. I was like, great. Oh, you know what? And then of course, right there, they've got. Oh, look at this! You can do a VIP survey. Big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> Don't, you know, you shouldn't probably, you know, if you're, you know, you probably shouldn't have that anywhere near the pages with all the other stuff when, uh, when you, you know, no stuff doesn't, uh, have enough. So I did it. I did the survey. Trust me. Oh yeah. I was my normal critical self. I'm sure they enjoyed it immensely. Hey, Hawkeye. Yeah. With the 501st, well, the 501st Battle Pack, I mean, there are just boatloads of them right now in the Walmart. I mean, boatloads. I saw I saw one shelf today, or actually it was yesterday, that had, I don't know, how many did it have on the shelf? It must have had 12 or 13. Let me see if I can pull up my phone. And then, I mean, I have, I have five or six right now. I was actually looking to see how much the figs were going for. I mean, there was somebody that actually sold... So I looked at the price guide too. A couple hundred of them, a couple hundred of one of the figs recently too. I thought that was quite humorous. Let's see. Let's see. So this is one. Let's see. Let's see. So this is one of them, one of the stores. I mean, you can see they're stacked on top of the the, the shelf. So I mean, it's like there's one, two, three. It looks like probably seven or eight on the bottom and three or four on top. And then let's see. Here. Uh, they did have they did have the new Shang Chi. Uh, stuff. There's another one. There's another store that had another six or seven on the shelves. I mean, they're they're plenty out there, and they're twenty four bucks. So, I mean, if people are selling the troopers for five, I mean, you know, I mean, crap. You sell you could sell the you could sell the troopers and the droids and have all that stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're, yeah, I only have the space coin. So, I mean, I, that's I mean, I, that's what I grew up with. I mean, the gold coin looked pretty cool. Obviously, said there'd be a second chance at it. Yeah, like how much you'll have that, you know, maybe another couple or something for that. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cool. Maybe the set will never retire. Well, maybe, you know, maybe to keep those Star Wars guys at bay, maybe they won't. Maybe they won't retire. They'll just leave it out there forever. You guys always get a five, this, this five of first battle pack. We're not retiring it. So, every time you ask us for a five of first battle pack, we'll say, oh, it's still on the shelf. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. There's that. There's that really cool. Uh, um, 
profile brick two by two with the nice oh cool it's black yeah in black yeah pretty cool pretty cool and i could probably take myself off the big screen so there we go so yeah that's pretty cool it's a neat it's a neat one i mean that's definitely a cool piece i'm guessing at some point if it ends up of being available for the the lug masses i'm sure it'll end up in the lug book at some point in time I mean, so in other words, what we need to do is we need to start. Oh, look at this! I like this. This is a cool piece. This is kind of neat. This must be new for this for this year too. Is this uh, one by two, like Technic brick with hole with with a plate centered, and it has it has looks like a slot in there too. So I mean, that's kind of interesting. So it's kind of a you know, a neat piece. So I mean, I guess we need to see how that how that gets used. It looks like it's another. Looks like it's a middle axle hole, which is kind of interesting. That would be kind of cool. I mean, I don't have to have a beam going all the way through, but we'll see how that works. So, I mean, Hawkeye, how many 501st Battle Packs are you sitting on right now? I mean, obviously, I bought a bunch when they first came out just because I thought, you know, maybe I'll resell some of the things or even maybe use them for like uh as like maybe even a giveaway or something too you know type thing a good set to give away or whatnot but you know there's a bunch out there now so they're pretty pretty readily available so you know definitely uh because i know i've heard on some of the some of the forums and stuff that people some of the people have not been able to get them Probably in some of the areas where some of those big Star Wars guys live that are buying up all the all all of them as they come out kind of type thing. Where they have the time to just sit at the stores all the time. Okay, we'll get oh, I have one but haven't opened it yet. Yeah, I mean yeah, I mean I mean I haven't I don't think I've opened mine yet either. I should have brought it with me. I mean I don't know if I have one here or not. I'm gonna have to look. I think I did bring one. Did I bring one here at one time? I thought I had one sitting around. Oh, yeah, I got one. I got one here. Because, like I said, I think that was one of those things I was thinking of. Am I going to use it for giveaway or whatnot? So I brought one. So maybe I'll build mine tonight, pull the figures out and whatnot. Because, I mean, the walkers would be kind of – the ice bears could use the walkers, but I'd have to – have to, the blue is a little you know, a little, a little crazy. Maybe i have to see if I can do blue, either blue and white or maybe white and gray. Camouflage for the Arctic area for the ice bears, especially if they have to contend with some of the crazy uh, wizards and stuff that I feel that they might have to contend with at some point. Or if they do battle with the ninjas again, you battle with them a couple times. So, uh, it's a little quiet right now. Mike, what are you doing? I'm doing Lego research. Lego research? So I take it you're no longer on craft right now, then I take it. No. What kind of research are you doing? I am trying to figure out what the friends' bed, uh, apartment or what the friends' apartments' bedrooms look like. Oh, yeah, Hawkeye. It's never. I mean, I mean, sometimes it's never bad to have an extra set sitting around. You know, I mean, to me, it's like, you know, I mean, I actually I have a bunch of Star Wars figs and stuff because I mean, it, it may sound surprising, but I've actually done a few displays with Star Wars stuff. Or actually I had uh, the Droidica, the Droidica droids I actually built more of those ones. I bought that Star Wars battle pack and I built more of those um, and built them as like 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 personalities, like a hat and gave them, you know, weapons and all that stuff kind of and used that at one of the shows. I have them built somewhere. I have a, a little uh, a troop of uh, Droidica droids somewhere and actually those are the ones i love i mean i played star wars galactic battlegrounds for years and that droidica was one of the ones i loved 
when I played the Trade Federation, I mean, I love that that one. That was a great. It was pretty good. It wasn't always as deadly as you'd think it might be, but it was fun to play. Fun to use those rolling around through battle. Because uh, they were and once you upgraded them to shielding, they always had shields on them, which is pretty awesome. Hey, you know this tractor set has some one by two clear plates, man. Actually, what's wild is everybody we talk about plates. I have a bunch of plates that aren't even part of my counts that are scattered in all my cancer ribbons that I built over time. That got scattered somewhere. And actually, I saw them the other day. I don't know where they ended up. So I built a bunch of the cancer ribbons like you could wear on your chest. I had the the magnets like for the badges, badge magnets, and then I built like a bunch of the different colored ribbons. Tried selling them at the uh, Tracer for Charity auction the one year, but didn't take. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to think what year that was. Hmm. Well, let me, you know, let me actually go look here. Let me go to my website, see if I put pictures there. That reminds me, I got to update my hope. Hope uh, hopecastle.org has not been updated since August of 2020. <laughs> uh, that's that's a long time. We're almost sitting. Uh, except I guess that. Uh, let's, see, let's see if I've got them in. The, let's see, Chicago. Not that one. Well, uh, you know, you know what? Actually, that would have been only the second year with the castle, 2014. It looks like Hawkeye. I think if you look, if you look at, if you look at HopeCastle.org and hit the Brick World tab, go to the second picture. They're right in front of the monitor that shows Taylor. I think that's them. I think that kind of you can't tell them real well, but that looks like them. And then once the Ice Bears took hold in 15. After I won all that bowling money, um, never looked back. Pretty much all ice bears since then. Ice bears, saber tooths, and crocs, of course. And then, of That's course, bad. yeah. And then, well, actually, you know, actually, I guess I, at Brick World, Wisconsin, in, in 2018, the armies invading that were trying to invade were the army men, the skeleton guys, the aliens, the good and bad guys, the monsters, which have been, that keep invading the pharaohs, the pharaoh stuff from the mummies from, uh, what was that one? <sighs> oh, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But actually that picture is actually kind of wild because August 2018 was the year I left, left a lot, I left half of my icebergs behind. Luckily, I brought some with, but all the dragons, the eighteen water dragons, sat on all the uh, on all the towers and stuff. So, but the people that were uh, that I sent the stuff to, um, yeah, first time visiting Rickworld. Hey, dude, Jude, how's it going? Hey, dude, Jude, man, look, look, look what I look what I got tonight, man. I got Tang, baby. <laughs> You know, I, I'm I'm mix I'm mixing my tang. I got my tang. My tang's mixed with, uh, you know, I'm I like this I like this really nice sky Pacific blueberry vodka. So yeah, so. But uh, yeah. So that, that's cool, Hawkeye. Yeah. So have you been there? Have you been pretty much every year since that year, or or do you just certain years you get there, certain years you don't? So. But. Yeah, that was kind of that was actually the first kind of year with a really cool. I mean, that was the first year with the castle walls and stuff. Other than because the, the year before was just the keep. Taffy trick balls, welcome, welcome, tickles. So, so. That's cool. So that would have been 14. Yeah. So obviously, uh, always neat. Oh, yep. 2015. Cool. Cool. Do you remember where you were? Where, uh, what what uh, part of the hall they had you in 15? In terms of were you kind of kind of close or whatnot? So I don't remember. I mean, I know the 15. I think I was down near the. Fifteen. I was down near the overhang. 
I think is that where I, or yeah, I was under the overhang. So the lights bounced off that low ceiling pretty cool. And then every year I was kind of mixed wow. all over. I do miss, I miss the, I miss the tower. I miss being able to have that tower be seen, you know, from across the hall. But if I go to the floor, it just means more towers going to have to be that much taller this time around. So, but it's cool. So what kind of, what kind of stuff do you usually uh, display Hawkeye? If I may ask. I like it. I mean, I probably, I probably remember. I mean, some the some of the earlier years, I used to take a lot of pictures, and then I think the last few I didn't take as many because um, Beyond the Brick always did the. Uh, oh, okay. Bar entrances and other by the cafe. Yeah, I mean, oh, see, I'm usually I'm usually kind of in the middle. I think the one year. I go review stop motion of vlog soup. Cool. I'm not sure what that means. So let's see. Yeah. So, so 14, 14 hours by the entrance, 15, I've been closer to the back, middle, kind of towards the back. Um, 16, I was kind of in the middle, kind of probably closer to the front. 17, I was on the floor. So I can't tell where I was that year, somewhere in the middle. 18, I was on the floor. Looks kind of somewhere in the middle, and then 19. We, I was up in front. I was actually part I was part of Whistlug that year. So actually, I was up front next to Jesse's castle at one best medieval. Um, but yeah, I mean, scattered all over. So so cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, generally they'll put you kind of all over the place at the show. It just depends on kind of what you're with. I mean, actually, it was with uh, the one year there was only a few of us in the in the square I was in. I actually had uh, I was um, was with a guy from Texas who had the the castle at the wall. I was with actually one of the guys from Whistlug that had the '80s space stuff. And then, um, and then who else was there? There was oh, so let's see. So the castle, the wall. He had that. And he had the midway display. And then I was next to him. And the eighty space guy was there. And then we had a couple other guys. I don't know who they were. Um, they weren't in the display area an awful lot, but they were. They were there. They had some other mocks and whatnot. Last time was a Disney year three thousand. Uh, well, I mean, you know, the nice thing is, is, uh, uh, reviews. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a tough question. What, what would you say, Jesse, UCS Falcon or the, or make a Hoth mock? Uh, I mean, to me, I mean, I mean, there's rumor that Falcon, I think is getting retired. I thought somebody mentioned that on one of the other streams. I mean, I actually kind of want that one. I, I'm, Kevin Hinkle supposed to be getting me the plans for the the original UCS Falcon, um, but that didn't have a lot of playability. So I mean, yeah. I guess, so I mean, I guess to yeah, me, I think if you're a stop motion guy and stuff, you probably would enjoy uh, making more scenes in a Hoth mock. I don't know what kind of stop motion you could do with the, the, the huge Falcon. I mean, it does. The top does kind of flip up, like all the Falcons do. So you might be able to do some really cool stuff in there if you can get like some of the smaller micro cameras. You might be able to do. I've some done stuff. both. I have the Falcon, and I've done a Hothmock with. Uh, <laughs> it was one of my first ones way back in 2013 or something. Made the ATAT -AT walk in, you know, towards the, the base, and uh, had a snow speeder on a monorail. And this monorail was flying the, <laughs> it was in the ground, right? But the monorail part was white, so it blended in with the snow. And it was holding up the snow speeder on a monorail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, now, now, of course, I mean, was your, was your ad at like this size? This is, this was at the, this is at the Bricks and Minifig store at ours. I mean, this sucker's huge. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Yeah, no, half like, of that. The, I mean, this is probably close. 
closer to minifig scale than kind of anything I've really seen. But, um, I mean, if you've got a lot of the stuff for the Hoff mock, I mean, I guess, you know, you could probably do it. Two AT-ATs, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, the might thing is, I would guess if you're doing the Hoff mock, too, you might be able to get more pieces to uh, – there's a nice piece for you, Jesse. Uh, two by six with that. Oh, yeah. Kind of the yeah. front, that's kind of a nice size. Um, yeah, uh, actually, what's funny is I actually, one of the guys, and if, if I was looking for, if I like Star Wars is looking, one of the guys that has a place near where I, my, where my stuff is at, has a bunch of Star Wars stuff that he's eventually going to want to try to get rid of. Obviously, the funny thing is, is he has a business he runs too, so he doesn't spend as much time, but I know he's got a couple of the, is it the ATSPs. I think he's got at least one or two of the Death Stars, the old one. Um, he had a bunch of stuff. I actually want to see if he truly – he had a box that looked like he had the motorized ad at And if he has that one, I, I kind of want to buy that one because I gave – I traded my motorized for a non-motorized to one of the guys I used to work with at the Lego store, so that kind of sucked. But I um, might just buy the UCS Hoth base and a Wings and add at Yeah, I mean, it's kind of – I mean, it's a tough call. Uh, I am on Instagram. I am uh, – my Instagram is Assembling Hope. Uh, it's kind of the uh, the nonprofit. So if you look if you look for Assembling Hope, it's pretty easy because it's going to have the the castle logo for Assembling Hope. It's uh, Kevin designed it. Kevin designed all my logos. So it's a uh, looks like a castle. It says Assembling Hope, and so that's what I go by. I mean, it's that and Scoop Shovel. So I got two Instagram. <laughs> Scoop Shovel is probably linked to my Facebook and all that. And then the other Instagram is uh, Assembling Hope because that's what I was kind of doing. I don't have. I created a clear hope castle, but then I realized which I want to kill Instagram is now I have trouble switching. I only switch between two, and then that third one kind of made everything just kind of a nightmare. So I need to delete yeah. that one because that one I'm not gonna, not going to ever use it now. So, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. I got a bunch of stuff. So I, mean, I think I have a uh, I have Instagram. I have Twitter. I mean, I have kind of all of them. I just don't necessarily use them all very often. Five or, is that a PS5 or a VR headset? For what? I guess what What are we talking about? Who are you, who are you asking? Certainly not asking me. It's a gamer. Oh, That's uh, games. Oh, well, what? PS5, PlayStation. Well, no, but uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, sorry, Brett. Yeah, yeah. Good night, buddy. I was running. Hey, Brett. Oh, oh, cool, okay. cool. Thanks, Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah. I, I can probably show. On and follow. Um, I'm just wondering, uh, Lego reviews. I mean, I wonder if he sees something in one of the screens if he's looking at. PS5 or a VR headset. I don't know. I, don't, I just all I have is I have a, I have a sound bar, table with a bunch of Lego stuff, bag cases. Uh, I don't know. Oh, my birthday soon because my because of COVID. I won't, but my party I'll get a thousand thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean it's one of those things for me. Yeah, it's kind of those things. It's a it's a toss up these days. There's so many good things out there. It's just to me, it's wherever your love is. Really, I mean, if you know, if you like Star Wars better, maybe the the Falcon if it's being retired. But I mean, they, the, the didn't the Jesse didn't both Falcons go back to back once? Kind of. No, actually, maybe it didn't. The one retired. Uh -huh. No, they didn't. Actually, it didn't. There's been medium Falcons, you know, on and off, and the, the yeah. solo version. And the Death Stars were back-to-back. -back. So as soon as they retired the one Death Star, they had the next one, which I thought was quite humorous. Um, but, I mean, who knows? I mean, they might do – I mean, the Falcon, I guess it depends on how sales was to whether or not they would actually redo it, I guess, too. That's the other kicker. But It'll probably be around. I mean, in the end, it's – you know, another thing, too, is it's one of those things where – you almost have to just pick your love. I mean, you know, what do you, you do you like, you know, in terms of they're both star Wars, but do you like the, the snow stuff better? Or do you like uh, some of the, some of the vehicles and stuff? So, I mean, 
Because, I mean, obviously, I had chances to buy both. I mean, I even worked for Lego and could have got some of that stuff at discount. Um, except I think the UCS Falcon came out near the end of my career. So might not have had a chance to get that one. But um, probably a chance to get the old one. And the old one, because I took apart Kevin Hinkle's one, I was like, man, there's just – there's like no playability, and that's kind of why I think I probably skipped that one for the most part, is because of that. Um, and the new one had the playability, so it's kind of I did kind of like that. But at eight hundred dollars, maybe it'd been five or maybe six, probably would have bought it a long time ago. But eight hundred, that's you know that you're starting to really push that envelope of really expensive. So I mean, in the end, it might be something where. You know, I might have to find one used. Or you know what? They got the clone ones. I mean, sh crap, those are selling for 150 bucks. <laughs> Somebody's got one on Facebook Marketplace. I thought that was quite humorous. Because he obviously is Lego, and then he says, not Lego, it's a clone. I'm like, oh, okay. But, you know, um, in the end, I mean, my, I mean, you guys download the instructions, too, and see how many pieces you got for something like that, too, to maybe build it. I mean, if you're somebody, if you're somebody like us who's got, you know, a decent-sized collection or even – has a lot of that Star Wars stuff, you might even be able to build it too. You just never know. So, but yeah, I mean, that's 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 a decision. I mean, I mean, a thousand will probably get you a fair amount of uh bricks and stuff and parts and everything else. I mean, that might actually be a good deal that way too. I mean, if you're used to doing a lot of mocks and displays, I mean, that might be fun. And if you're doing stop motion, that's going to be. That'd be key. Or I get a life-size Vader suit. <laughs> well, uh, those are pretty cool. I've seen, I've seen uh, the five hundred first used to come to the come to our store a lot, and we did have Vader. Actually, I have a picture floating around somewhere of Vader and uh, Vader kneeling. Oh, I have Vader kneeling at the at the Yoda for like the master build event. That was that's pretty cool. Oh, actually, am I supposed to have two of those? I'm missing. I miss. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, I'll go look. Yeah, I wish I knew where that picture was. I don't know if I. Oh, it's probably my pen drive. I probably had that the other night. Uh, See here. Let me go look. Let me go look. Let me go look. Followed you back. Followed you back. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So let's see. Let me move. Let me move. Let's see. Let me if I open that up. Let me scroll the next one. No. Okay. So let me do this. Over to here. Okay. So we'll do this. We'll share screen. So this is. You want me to share it, Hawkeye? Do you want me to? Do you want me to share it with the with everybody else or whatnot? It's up to you. you can. What you got, Reed? Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that before. Or something like that. I think there's a lot of people doing that. So, or a one eighth scale of Lorian. <laughs> uh, okay. Talk to you later, uh, Lego Reviews. We'll catch you later. Yep. Hey, Kittenville, how's it going? I guess Here. we're not going to get to see it there, Jesse. See what? I don't know. So this is uh this is this is Hawkeye's this is Hawkeye's uh Disney. Oh, that's his page. That's Disney. yeah, that's that I think was at the Disney Disney three thousand. Oh, I've seen it before in stream. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yep. There's got Epcot there in the corner too. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. So let's see. There's that one. Oh, dragon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, we, he must have showed it off once more. He's probably been in. So, yep. 
I mean, it's it's always cool. I mean, it, I mean that. I mean that's that's a nice. I mean, there's a, and the Disney stuff. You know, definitely if you like you said, if you're doing it from different time time periods and stuff too. Because I know I've seen people doing different things. So let's see. Here. Cool. Yeah. I mean, everything everything takes time. I, I like the castle. It's nice. That's kind. Of, I mean, it's oh Disney Earth Year three thousand. Okay. Yeah. yeah cool. It's pretty cool stuff. So yeah, oh yeah. You have the rave lights. Oh okay. Brick trains was playing mouse down at Legoland. What do you guys think of that? The oh, Wagner, you, you, want, the Wag, you want the Wagner Ooh. idea? Mm. Put the curved slope on here. Cool. Have enough to, to go all the way around with the sand green. Hey, Tasman, how's it going, buddy? Tasman, good morning. <laughs> yeah, I am good. working on this Avenger Tower, and uh, the next step is to put the tower on here. Should I do that live on the stream? <laughs> you can. It's gonna be. Is it in Adam. sections? Is it in sections or what? Uh the the next part is not. <laughs> it's all one giant tower. Yeah, so it'll just be like boom. There it is. Uh, Let me put uh some uh stoppers on so this doesn't slide. Mm. And then I'd like to see how that looks because it might play a factor on how this ties together next. So yeah, yeah. No, you don't want to see that kitten, Bill. <laughs> Not going to pull a moto. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean that's kind of that's kind of his uh his his thing these days is he's done that a couple times which is kind of a little crazy when that happens he dropped his red balloon the other day on boone stream well and then he showed pictures of his spaceship somewhere i saw like the pictures of the spaceship that uh disintegrated at one point too so and then uh i know it, I know it does it does happen well i think he actually had a structural issue on one of the one of the one of my streams i think he was doing a Doing a swoosh and had a one of something kind of something kind of fell apart. So we know what happens. All right. Just make that, sure there's no bricks on the floors to step on or trip on, like in a way <laughs> master show and, and whatnot. So you got to be, you know. All right. Good. I will take that advice. I will put this on the get this off the floor. Yeah, because all it takes is to kick something too. You'd be like, oh, I kicked it. Me move the monitor as far back as I can. Oh yeah, well there's a light there that's gonna look yeah. kind of weird, but the tower will probably block that one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It'll probably be too tall. I, well, I can I can go even taller, but let's we'll do it stage by stage. All right. Well, I hope that's strong enough. <laughs> we do too. Well, you know, we might as well make this. Let's make this big screen so that people can see. He's uh, going to get Avenger Tower. So, oh, there we go. Yes, man, I'm great. Thanks. Hey, is that a set? Where do I buy that set at? I want that tower. They just announced it. The dudes. It's coming after the Daily Bugle. Holy cow, yeah, it took half the screen. Well, it looks cool with the light behind it. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> nice. Whoa. Can you, can, you us, can you start building a little smaller? <laughs> you've seen this you've seen this tower mike now it's a little a little bigger 
I have seen that tower. It's really impressive. How many uh, how many levels are in that tower? Wow. Uh, 11. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then the platform. Six. Well, no, in terms of how many floors, how many floors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks like six, 16 floors and then the yeah, there's, the house, right? There's like, yeah, there's like 15 uh, window panes mm. there. And then, uh, and then I have this new foundation. With, they're really big levels inside, actually. They're not. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can do that, uh, Hawkeye. I might get a strike, you know? Wow. Cue the light, the, the music. Aren't you going to light that up again? Uh, that's what I was hearing. Lights? Yeah, isn't that one going to get lit up, or is that something else that he was working on at the, at the train show? Um, I mean, I have lights in this tower, but I want to put lights now that in this new foundation, that the arc reactor, I can put lights in that uh, big blue thing, and you'll see them through these big windows down here. Right, but what, what was... Uh... What was he building those big fours for in the last uh, stream when you did uh, with the last uh, um, lug meeting when you when we came and saw him and then you did the tour? Oh, oh yeah. Um, Steve was working on the Fantastic Four. Oh, the Fantastic. Here, okay. Which is uh, also about this, not quite this tall now, but this taller. Um, the, uh, we, I had a blue four up here, and it was just solid brick blue. And uh, he was working with the trans blue pieces to do the four-sided four and light it up somehow. There we go. We got a, we got a tractor done. We got a tractor. Yeah, Reed, when you start building like Jesse, then we'll talk. Hey, oh, man. <laughs> How many pieces? Are in that, how many pieces are in that tower, Jesse? This is uh, this is three days worth of work, by the way. <laughs> how many, how, okay. Uh, well, my castle had basically uh, seven years worth of work into it. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, no. how, many, how many pieces? How many pieces? Is that is that is that over a hundred thousand pieces? Or you still got to catch up to me? Yeah, this is probably in uh, the less than ten thousand. Okay. So, so Jesse's still got to play catch up. I mean, I'm at, I'm at 125,000 plus pieces. So, you know, he, I mean, he's a little, he's a little off. He's got to play some catch up. So I need, I need, I need the Avenger tower. That's, you know, a hundred thousand pieces. And that's uh, as tall as uh, you from the floor, you know? Well, I got the whole, I got the whole city, you know? So my, my, my Marvel city versus your uh, ice castle. We'll see. Ooh. We'll hey, see what the, See what happens. See what happens there, because I have Baxter Building, Avenger Tower, Daily Bugle, mm. a Fisk Tower, Visions Academy, Sanctum Sanctorum. Ooh, Mar Ice Bears versus Marvel. And this the Netflix a Building. Ice Bears versus Marvel. I think that's going to be the next movie. Seven, I seven. seven I have seven different buildings for Marvel. Chima versus. Uh... Marvel, I think they'd be good. And they're all at least a couple hundred pieces a piece. So then we got we got Reed's castle built. Gosh dang it. Now I gotta rebuild my castle because I took the big one apart. Dang it. Seven. Dang, this is cool. That's Need some light, some obnoxious music, and be set. It'll be just yeah. like uh, it'll just be just like Oak Castle. Yeah, I was gonna do just the lights, uh, but I wanted to test uh, test drive this uh, weight on what I just built. Now you, now you gotta let it sit there for like a, a couple hours to see if it really will. Yeah, it didn't really budge. Um, like I said, I did a super brick. I did a super brick on this second level right here, so it's plate, 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 and overlap pretty decent. And there's solid bricks uh, in like little igloos, black brick, um, right under where the tower sits in the four corners and the center. Uh, I do want to put 
some more support in the in the arc reactor. But did you do the plates on the bottom of that level so it's actually locked in place or not? Because if not, yeah. you, to, you did? Okay. Yeah, you, pretty pretty close. I know you talked about but while you were building, you didn't want to have it. You was flat, so you just got to remember that. Because remember, if the tower sitting on there in that level right below the tower isn't secure, then you remember you got to be careful when you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So a plate versus a plate so that it, if, if there is any give, it, now the, the plates are actually locking it in. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah. That part's um, good. Uh, there's one more support I can put in the very foundation of it uh, in the center of the arc reactor. Uh, just in case. Just so there's basically a solid foundation in the center. I got the four corners. It's looking good. Dang. Yeah, currently, currently you Hawkman. Yard, you got a yardstick? Oh, yeah. Dang. How big is this? I got something, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's see here. That is... 43 inches. Yeah, that's how, that's cool. That's how tall Memorial, t that first, that one tower I had years ago was. The one at Brick World 2018. I added a nine and a half. Added nine, nine plus. Okay, so let's see. Let's move this guy over here. So if we do, if we do this, so if I share this one. This one was 43 inches tall, too. This tower here, that was 43 inches tall. So I know how tall 43 inches is. It's pretty Yeah, tall. sitting on a table. Sitting <laughs> on a table, it is tall. You can, see that, you can see that from one end of the hall to the to the other, unless somebody else has got a tower in front of you, or, they, or this vendor's got his big <laughs> stack of books in front of there. Yeah. Reed, put Jesse's tower back up. <laughs> Should I do a lazy season? Oh, oh, there's even more glass levels up above there. Too. There's glass. Oh, I heard something move. <laughs> Yeah, the whole the whole backside is those same windows all the way up. Is that like so one of the one of the windscreens? Yeah, you get a better. Oh, uh, just a flat uh, one by four window. Oh, panel. Okay. oh, the window pan. Okay, one by four by three or something like that. Block that light. Holy cow! It's off the screen. I love it. Oh, there's another light in the way. I'm trying. I'm pulling it closer so it doesn't fall off the table. I don't see the. I don't see the helicarrier sticking off the edge of the platform up there. <laughs> I got one of these little guys. <laughs> Field. <laughs> Not the helicarrier, but I do have a plane up there. My sig fig. Wow. So let's see here. So let's see here. I'm going to show. So, so let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, damn. So the castle was clear. Then it was trans clear and black. And now the new one will be back to back to clear again. So, because I mean, it was all clear at one point. So that one's pretty much all clear right there. That was all clear there. And of course, it was all clear there when I first started. But I don't know, does the 220, 2020 remodel have stuff? Uh, so, Memorial Tower, Chester. Chester's admiring it. I was going to make it bigger, and then that stopped too. So, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not, so let's see here. I need to figure out if I have a good picture of that. That's what I was looking for, and I couldn't. Couldn't find what I was looking for. Probably have one on my. Let's see here. 
Where is that picture? Uh, actually, I'm trying to think where the heck that is. So let's see. Now I got, now I got an Avenger Tower on a 48 by 48 with mills, which is two bricks high and a plate. Okay. So, so how do you how do you get that back to the museum? Uh, well, it's three pieces right now. The tower I have to carry like I carried it across the room. Okay. And basically, just put it in the front seat of my car like it's a person. <laughs> or I can lay it down. If I lay it down on the flat part of the the backside, it it flattens the windows a little bit. If I'm careful, like with some air. Uh, Bubble, bubble wrap, uh, it will lay down on the on this flat part. You can lay it down. Anybody ever give me a weird looks when you're driving down the street with a Lego statue in the sun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going really slow. They're honking at me like, eh, 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 get out of the way. Why are you going so slow? I got Lego in the front seat. <laughs> My passenger's bugging the heck out of me. Leave me alone. Like pressing down. Um, so this is the current one. So it's all clear. And of course, Memorial Towers over here. So yeah, I'm gonna need a back drop now. Yeah. Well, they they <clears throat> this is up in Green Bay, so they've done the <clears throat> the show. So I mean, obviously the the igloos and stuff are tr are the two tone, and the barn is two tone. But the new castle is clear. But I'm gonna add another a whole nother loop, but I don't know if it'll it'll only be at the shows where we're not doing the collab. So the goal is to have a castle collab at Brickworld 2022. So in the end, hopefully uh, my castle will be smaller so it'll play well. So I can play with others again instead of playing by myself. Hawkman's got a uh, Avenger Tower, but uh, game <laughs> concept art. Oh. Uh. The new everything is awesome set MT. I mean, it, I, I saw a piece of it, lots of colors. Oh, and yours, his is half the size. Eh, well, you know. Yeah, I think I saw in the background this Disney Castle. I was like, that looks like an adventure thing. Okay. Yeah, I had to go big, man. Got to go big or go home. And this is uh, years of work also, just uh, getting it to this point working on different projects, just like the read, you work on the barn, you work on the wall, you work on the castle. Hey, Haley. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. Hey, Lee. You just, gotta, you just gotta start, you know, different, you just gotta work on it piece by piece. And so like, actually what's funny is actually, I had the cast, I had the new castle right in front of me the whole time. It's right here. So I mean, it's it's this is the last show when Chop came up there. So oh yeah. So in the end, I grab the picture without grabbing anything else. So I mean, it's you know, I mean, it's good size. I mean, that one has Memorial Tower separate than the other one. So I mean, I might if I go, I might make it all super huge, add some more levels, and get it get it back up to that four foot mark type thing. So. Yeah, I like it. I think you should keep it separate like that. Have it, have it, have, have it be a little uh, memorial, oh. you know, tower. Well, often. I like, I like to have it. I, the reason I kind of wanted it higher was then the names are easier to see. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, if it's on the floor, it might not be as easy to see the names, but we'll see. I mean, anything's possible. Well, I actually separate them for that contest for. The idea is that the or the Lego house thing that actually totally went, you know, backwards type thing. And just, I mean, I couldn't take a good picture. And then the Memorial Tower, because it was dealing with death, got rejected pretty quickly. So, <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, okay. So, and the barn didn't make it past the first round. And so, no, nah, they had a bunch of. Good stuff. There was a lot of good stuff. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know if I ever looked to see what won, but you know, clear is I was clear is not in. I guess. I guess I didn't know. It was in at one time, I guess, but not now. Wow. I gotta take a picture. Hmm. 
And then uh, work on work on the foundation some more. Put some lights down there in the arc reactor, and uh, and then put, park it over in the city, which is basically all mocks right now of Spider Verse. Build a build a build a bigger uh, helicarrier too, you know, or a, a bigger <laughs> bigger Quinjet, you know. You I have the helicarrier. I have the set. Uh, could be hovering. Here, here. Be able to get some get some uh, fishing line, hang it from uh, hang it from the ceiling at the shows. You have to scale it down. To, I don't know, maybe not. It'll probably fit in with this size. Actually, if you, if you hung the Quinjet or the Hellcare up high enough, you could just get that force force perspective look. Yeah. New and improved Avenger Tower. So this is what Hawkeye based his on. So the Avengers Tower Blake Rodinger. So I'm guessing there's so Jesse, now that you modified it to that way, what are you gonna do to change it to make it better next time? <laughs> <laughs> Taller. There is a there's a detail on the back side of this curve. And um, doesn't appear in much concept art, but this is not completely flat. There's like another angle that uh, there's like a cutout. So if I really wanted to improve it, I would uh, add the detail of, of another very difficult uh, curvature on the curvature. <sighs> is that even possible? So, like so, everything. Basically, like a uh, Lombardi trophy is what you're talking about, type kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, like I'm doing with my hand, it's going to be curved this way, and it's already curved this way. So yeah. that's, that's, a Lombardi, that's a Lombardi trophy. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really do it. I mean, you can't. And the only way to do it right. like, it's, with it's like curved this way or, and curved inward. Yeah. Yeah, somebody did it. Somebody built one out of clear plates. But I mean, it didn't have the real. It didn't have the curve. It could. You couldn't do it. Right. You could pixelate it at a at a decent size, and uh, but this needing to be clear uh, yeah. or or, or uh, tinted blue anyway. And they don't. And they, don't make, they don't make that. And if they made a tinted blue Technic beam of some kind, you could maybe tilt it with. The, some of the technic stuff where it's already got that nice curve to it, but it would take it's kind of a deep cut for people that are really looking into what the building looks like. I mean, I mean the building, it looks good enough that way. I mean, if you, I mean, if you get somebody that critical, you say, move along, sir, move along, let more people look at this, move <laughs> right. along, move along. It looks better than like, uh, the ones I mostly see the people that just use the, the eight by eight curve and that's it. Oh, I, I, I don't know the one that, um, gosh, who, the one in Denlock, like, she's got one too. That's a pretty big one too. Let me see if I can figure out where. Let's see if that one. Let me see if I can find hers. There's one of the girl. One of the women out in Denver's got an Avenger Tower too. That's pretty pretty big. I think it's kind of like. Oh yeah, I think that's pretty much it, Mike. That's that's the one. <clears throat> it looks that's good. It. If I come up with a completely different technique, maybe I would redo it. But, you know, in in the nine to ten years that I've been doing this, uh, uh, took, you know, uh, I, the, the Baxter building got remodeled this, this last year. And then this one's getting a, an upgrade, if you will. Uh, I would just move on to the next. Like, I haven't done the X Mansion. So oh, I would just move. I would yeah. move on to... Um, doing the next building instead of replacing something. So is that going to be at the training museum or is he just keeping that at home? Uh, this will be at home for uh, probably most of the summer. I'm not sure if maybe it'll come back uh, to the museum uh, by night trains by winter or something. Because uh, so we've been working on the Spider-Verse collaboration for two years of no brick world Chicago. So um, we're gonna do a video presentation and 
put our collaborations together um, this summer and film it. So that's why my, my two table city over in the other corner is, is basically starting to look like what I would have brought to a brick world Chicago. This, I don't know if this is a great picture, but this is, this is, this is one of them. This is, this is the Avenger tower when they had it at the, uh, bricks and oh, yeah. So. yeah, that's what most people are doing. See the curved part on the corner is just like a eight by eight curvature and then it flattens out. It's like there's something else back there. So, well, she's got, she got the arc reactor on the bottom too. So yeah. Yep, that's the level I just made. Is that square piece at the bottom? Let's see here. So there's the there's the top. Yeah, that's decent. The there's the earth, there's the earth reactor. What is that made out? Of? That's not Lego. That or it's the uh, I don't know. That or it's those. Uh, I wonder if it's the windscreens. Those big ones, like the from the sail barge maybe i don't know no that's not when that the the light everything even or the the stand around it doesn't look like lego the red pieces yeah, it could know. be oh the bottom does look like i don't you're right. i don't know what the top is unless it's i mean who knows i mean if this person's been working on it for a while i mean it's uh any more pictures of it? Well, there's there always looks like a level inside of it. Yes, yeah, Batman too. Yeah, with Bat Cave stuff. It's like they did the same height inside I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it looks like it's thirteen levels, but it's really only five. Yeah, so it's and that's the one I saw. I was like, wow, my gosh. And this is the kind of the stuff that came out of the woodwork after I was like after I left Denver. I was like, whoa, where'd all these people come from? It's like. You know, I was there for all these years and never saw half this stuff. So, a lot of people like me coming up in the last five to ten years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just it's kind of those things where it's just it's yeah, and there and, there, and it's just one of those things. There's lots. Oh, you want know, to see? Here's the new one. Here, let me see if I can share this guy. Oh. Your train. Uh, let's see. I got to click the screen here. This is, I think this is Moto's video, I think. Oh yeah, putting the... So they're taking the pirate down and then they're gonna oh. build, they're gonna build the, let's see here, it's just, here we go. We're building, building uh, Tatooine. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good collaboration. Although... Yeah. Supposedly Beyond the Brick already shot, uh, put the video out there on there. So, so Dave O'Hare is the one that had uh, got me kind of thinking about castles too. He had a big uh, three foot by three foot by three foot tall castle back in the day, long time ago, probably 06, 07. Destroyed it, and he's currently working on an 80 inch by 80 inch moon base. It was at Chicago in, uh, I think both, was it 18 and 19? It was that huge moon base that he was working on it wasn't totally done but he's still working on it so so i mean it's funny because when they build this there's you know they put there's a somebody's somebody brought a sand crawler it's i think it's based off of that really big ucs one that somebody built i think that's what he's kind of working on right there and um they put it in front and they're like oh wait oh i guess we should have planned on putting that in back because it's just so big but you know, I mean, uh, you know, you got the pod racers in the in the in the in the in the uh, canyon there, and so you know, there's a, there's that sand crawler. It's like, you know, like how many uh, pieces did he have? Huh? He had quite a few pieces to put it together. Yeah. Well, I think it. I don't think I don't think it's his design. I think he said it's based on the the person who made that really big. Uh, UCS one, I think maybe it was one of the ideas ones or something. And the sucker's huge. Um, but I know Dave ordered a crap ton of tan bricks for this thing. I mean, in the thousands, maybe 10 or 20,000 or more. I mean, a, a lot. I mean, might have been a hundred. I mean, he might have ordered even more than that because I think they estimated that it was a hundred thousand pieces or more. Or so, but yeah. So, I mean, yeah, this is the bricks and minifigs out in Littleton. 
So, I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, well, they have uh, Zach Farr is from uh, the uh, – oh, I guess that's it. Uh, is from actually Arclug who moved to Colorado Springs. He's now the ambassador for Denlug. So, because so it's funny when we were when it, the Brick Worlds, I met like uh, Richard Gladder, Rob Hendricks, all those guys, and they were all part of Arclug. And then Zach was part of Arclug out there, and we did a couple of the lug books together. Zach moved to Colorado. Uh, Chris, one of the guys in our group, moved to Missouri or down in that area, so he joined Arclug. And then when Zach moved to Colorado, he joined Denlug. He lives in the south, and so then he they made him ambassador recent within the last year or two. So it's kind of cool. It's 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 you don't realize how networked the community is until people start moving around and they're like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just talk to so and so. I mean, yeah, that group's pretty good. You know, go you know go talk to them. So I mean, he moved out after I was already gone, so I didn't get to didn't get to see him. So, but he brought he brought something to Brickworld the one year making glue with the. Uh, so I had the music and I had the horses where they're they were turning the horses into glue. So I think it won best uh, best uh, comic uh, best comedic comedic uh, comediatic uh, display or something the one year. So so uh, let's see here. Whoa! I like it. What? Oh, the oh, uh, the tower. It is a Avenger tower. It's very different. Based on the Spider-Man game. Holy Toledo! That is a big. Yeah. Okay, you need to do that, Jesse. Then that's the next one. <laughs> Be twice yeah. as, tall as twice as tall as the one you got there now. Right. Maybe I'm three, into the skyscrapers. Uh, Maybe three times as tall. I don't know. That would be kind of wild to set that up uh, at Brick World. That'd be pretty nutty. That'd be pretty cool. That's neat. That's a neat. Uh, I guess we might as well share it with everybody else since we get to look at it. I'll share it on my screen here. So this is the concept. That's pretty. That's a pretty wicked skyscraper. Yeah. You know, if if you figure the tower you got is probably only up to about where that first big link is somewhere in there. I mean that's got to be almost three times as tall as. This is the one you got. That'd be a big tower. If that's 43 inches, can you imagine something 120-some inches tall? That you'd see all over the exhibition hall at Brickworld for sure. <laughs> you can't see it. It's it's almost hitting the ceiling. If you can't see that, it'd be like uh, the year that we were joking with uh, um, Nick and how he missed Hope Castle. That was the year it was on the floor, though. But it would be just like, you know, how would you miss it? It, was, it went to almost the ceiling. You know, that that would have a wide base, but I mean that that would be cool to see super tall. I don't think I, I don't think I have enough clear plates for that one. Just saying, I don't think reminds I me enough. of Iceberg Bricks' is, uh, Avenger Tower. It's based off. Of I mean, how big? How big is his? Yes, four game. His his is like four feet tall. Oh, say hey, Jesse. Uh, Rachel says that's amazing. Uh, thank you, Rachel. Is she here? No. <laughs> I said I clicked a picture of it when you were uh, uh, up full screen and sent it to her. Oh, you beat me I know. To it. I know that Jesse was working on it, but I didn't think it was done. And I said he just put it together in the stream tonight, so I sent her a link to the stream so she might show up. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll I'll post it soon. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I follow Rachel on. Different so this is this is four feet. So yeah, that's oh, forty three is almost just over, just over three. So this is a little bit taller than yours, but I think so. It's slick like that uh, one concept art, though. It's kind of like uh, oh. Listen, Jesse can add about another six plates somewhere in there and raise it up. You know, this just that little bit. Oh more. yeah, I mean, uh, I see this level right here could be two levels easily. <laughs> and then he's and he's, and he's tied uh, with iceberg. And then you have to have a measuring thing and just kind of you know, yeah. you, have have that, you have to have that hidden spire like the Empire or like the uh, World Trade Center or something. That you just lift at the last second. Oh, look at this! It's taller now. Yeah, had that last antenna and dish. <laughs> it's taller. Yeah, I don't think they should count to the top of the antennas. I think they should count. Uh oh, you went to yeah. the structure. 
whatever the structure. And this does have a funky wall that like goes up high or higher, you know, anyway. So I think that's high enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when you it's like when you see Area 51 stacking up the structure beams just to have something obnoxious on the top. Was that that giant tower they had that one year at Brick World? That that just that tower of beams? Is that what you're talking? That's the one thing I think of. Because there was that one year that one had that huge tower of beams that went crazy. Brian Williams. I saw that it was kind of crazy. All I know is that tower would be that that tower concept. That'd be pretty awesome. That'd be a big one. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool to good see that a good you know eight ten feet in the air at a brick world show. It it actually be kind of like the. Uh, it would actually be like the uh, the one those kids did for uh, a couple years ago for uh, Rebel Log. What was it? What? Uh, oh, where does uh, where does Rogue Rogue One take place? What's the planet where the Death Star fires just a small scarif? Car a scarif? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had that scarif tower the one year. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah. Actually, what's funny is I bet I still have that video on my. I bet, do I still have it on my phone? I bet I do. Crash. The crash. Yep. The crash. The or the topple or whatever it was. Yeah, here it is. Because that was pretty tall on the table. That was probably. That, yeah, that was a pretty. That was a beast. Let's see if I can. Okay, so that's not the right video. So here, this is it. I think here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Micro <laughs> that was that was crazy that was and that's pretty tall that was a tall one i mean i mean he's probably he's got to be five foot something and he's standing next to it on that and that's not even on a table table that's 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 just sitting on uh the bins and some two by two you know like the the one by sixes or something the the smallest i mean it's probably i don't know foot and a half Two, maybe two feet off the ground, and then it's, and then it's just all that extra height. So five, another, yeah, it's probably like nine feet in the air. So, I mean, that, I mean that, and that's you know that's kind of how you tear stuff down. But you know, and I think Hoosier showed one the one night where they, <laughs> where they just took down a building. One like way that. to tear stuff down. Yeah. Well, you mean when Beaver C knocked down his tower? Yeah. Well, the whole deal behind that is he couldn't get it home any other way. So my goal in life is to build something uh, extremely tall. Yeah. It's funny. Is this this he used his he used his his lug bolt beams to build a crane? I like this guy sitting there. You gonna sit around the bench there, dude? Okay, we're bringing the I'm in the can right over your head, you know. <laughs> but but yeah. So it was. Uh, yeah, that was OC. He's one of the other Technic guys out in out in Colorado. I think I even have. Oh, there's there's John with his uh, his carnival ride that goes up, goes all the way up, and then all the way down. All kinds of good stuff out here. Totally from this view, kind of cool. Light it up and take pictures from the. On top of your desk. It looks cool at like at this angle, looking up at it. That's how you that's how you sail an imperial flagship on, at, a, at a train show. Oh, that was when the castle was clear too. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
แบบนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่คือนี่ค
I lost my badger head. Oh, there he is. That way, if he puts on hair, because obviously the, the lion heads are two sided, if you put hair on, you, let's, you know, that way it's uh, it's a fleshy type guy. So. so I sent a, sent a bunch of those out with uh, the order. So what, I got to buy something from you to get one? No. I just sent it to the – I sent it just with the orders I went. Well, I wanted to get one for Brett. It was the main goal. And so <clears> – because <throat> shipping to him, I probably might not ship for another six months. Who knows? I mean, so to ship, to ship that far, I figured I might as well include one, so – so you just need this, so you just need this guy, and you just need to add a squirrel, and what's that? Well, I, I, I had capes laying around that I put on. So they, they had one of my special ice bear capes. So, yes, yeah, very unique. That's the goal. I mean, you know, there I guess you know. technically, technically they should have been – Rather than giving them a trans light blue lightsaber blade, I should have given them a one by two clear plate for them to be hold for the guy to be holding. That would have been better. But I'm sure everybody's got one of those. I mean, if not, I will send them out the next time. So now my tank's pretty good. I'm still on my I'm still on my first one for the night. I mean, this this was this was full up to here, you know, you know. Probably like this much, you know, probably like this much tang. And then with the vodka, I probably took it up to about here. So. It's on the first one. Not a big drinker. I mean, actually, the the stuff I used to drink when I bowled was because uh, some I had a sore throat one time at bowling. And somebody gave me mellow yellow and peach schnapps. And the mellow yellow actually kind of went down kind of hard, and the peach schnapps was smooth. But I started mixing Mountain Dew and peach schnapps, and that was a good combination. The Mountain Dew to keep me spiked and the you know high, and then the peach schnapps to knock me down, and it's a nice combination. So a Ninjago blade, yeah. I mean, well, technically, I mean, the goal would be is if people have a lightsaber hilt black gold whatever you got just take those ice the ice blades and just put those in a in a saber hilt and then you got an ice ice saber so and, that, and that's kind of technically what would probably be good i mean that for your weapon and then just get one of the squirrels i mean i'd be nice i, I need to keep looking to see if they come out with more squirrels in the in the world of lego and their sets i think they do i just need to keep an eye out it and see but I mean, I, I probably have a bunch of those uh, Ninjago blades and stuff laying around somewhere, so. Oh. Um, but, yeah, I sent uh, I sent a few of them down there when I for the box. And, yes, for Mike, yeah, the people who bought something got something, but I sent a couple extras because I don't know who else is going to be down there. I only sent a couple, so they're going to they're gonna have to flip coins for those extra ones, I guess, for now. All I just right. didn't, huh? All right. I didn't, I didn't have enough capes, so I, mean, I pulled them off of other ice bears, so, and I just was like, yeah, so, but. Yeah, then I'll probably, you know, but I just, you know, I need to get one eventually. I, I needed to be doing one. Plus, I need one that's different than this for the, for, for the, the medieval stuff that Mr. Wagner talked me into. So it might be, I might end up for my fig for that one, for that world might be um, a little bit different. Because it's it's got to be it's like more of a medieval type kind of thing. So for that one, it's probably going to be maybe the rogue with an ice bear 
And I might have to look for me have to look for some white hands or something, maybe. So it might be something kind of more or less like this. Well, actually, with the so I have to look for some. Except the ice bears don't even have white hands, which is quite interesting. So might end up being something like something like this guy. So something kind of something like this. You look maybe. good, good, my friend. Huh? I said he looks good. He almost would just need a better torso instead of the wolf, maybe more of a bear. So, ha ha ha! Just sign the ice bear poly bag. Well, yeah, probably would have been cool, huh? That's okay. So I got a head and a <laughs> a hood that probably would look really weird on an ice bear thing. Oh no, there's been there's been a body switch. Oh no. Look what happens. Look at what look what truly happens when when Brett's wizards <laughs> wizards do do damage. They start mixing ice bears and and uh, and people. This is terrible. Brett needs to Brett needs to control his wizards a little bit better. I think. I think they're a little yeah. they're a little uh, their 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 spells are a little uh, off kilter. I believe so. So. Ah. Uh. That good, huh? You is the museum open tomorrow? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm doing Sundays, so I can actually chill tomorrow. I'll probably go check it out, make sure they're okay. But maybe I'll get the motorcycle out, so it's not raining. Mm. It's warm yeah. enough. Rain today. I mean, they got the all those storms coming through. So. Tried, yeah. This this uh, afternoon mm. was great. Um, it's so humid now, though. So sprinkling in. 84 tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. I'll, you know, I, I don't generally do much on the weekends. I mean, I mean, I need to probably spend more time in storage. I need to get this all cleaned up and get this most of the stuff over to storage. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of complaints that it's too messy. So I need to probably talk to my mom and get the, this table comes with a couple of leafs. I might have to try and get the leafs put in here and, I would maybe get, I can get rid of this table, maybe perhaps. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not used, I'm not used to this. I'm used to sitting at like a nice desk. I'd almost like to try and get a desk down here somehow, L desk or something. Yeah. No, I don't know. I need to get rid of that TV before it gets too hard to get rid of a tube TV because it suckers a huge, weighs a ton. So, um, but thinking of maybe making this taller. Maybe, yeah. I, I think you should make it as tall as that uh, the concept. I think make the concept. Uh, yeah, where where the, where the base plate sits, <laughs> it's almost it's you know it's, there's more room here than oh. I was expecting. So I could Maybe I could do to a, make to make a bigger level that goes down where you still have that angle. It's still I could angle. do another level and tear it in another two studs basically. Hmm. I don't know if that'll look good though. I think the other, the real building though, or whatever concept building, does have multiple tiered levels. I, I, maybe I could just square it off there instead of trying to do that funky uh, angle. Mm. I think it's time for a, a really good snack. I've got to make sure I have uh, a sand, sand green window. I need, you know, I need some cheese curds. Uh, I got some fresh cheese curds. Curds, yeah. This is one of the Decatur Dairy is one of the ones I, I go, I kind of, I kind of go go buy on like a Wednesday. Yeah. I usually just buy at the pig if they've got them. I used to drive by the by the dairy. I think I'd save a little bit by going right to the dairy, but I haven't gone by there in a while, so. The pig has them once in a while, so I'll, I'll have them there. So. The pig. The Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, I knew. I, I uh, worked out there a couple of times here and there, and the guy uh, told me which gas station was closest to the farm dairy with the best cheese curds. and mm. Squeak cheese. It's not a joke. Oh, it's pretty good. 
I mean, we sell them too through work. So, I mean, I have both. I just like this one too. So, I used to yeah. eat a lot of the ones we have at work. I used to eat a lot of those because I used to, that's how I ended up knowing the people was I did that. I made the trip all the time for the thing. Oh, I probably should have done this, but I got these through Lugbook. I don't know if I could have given these out or not. Should have given my Sig Figs an ice saw. <laughs> That'd be cool. Look at that. And I got all these, I got all these other heads that still need to be painted yet. They're altered, I guess. Hey Reed, I think as long as you give it away, it's fine. Just don't sell it, huh? Ding. Well, I think some of the uh some of the parts for those guys came from the support a little bit. Some came from BAM and some came from uh support, I think. Which is fine. There, I'm I'm, re, I'm repurposing them. I think I'm the only guy really in the group that uses Chima anyway. So, so I utilize some of my newly earned early newly earned stuff when I joined Whistlug, and so I did a bunch of that stuff. Problem is, I think they make a couple different of the uh, of the of the khakis with the pockets. The ones I think I keep finding a brick link are a little bit more detailed. So I don't know. But ding, is that whose phone's that? Is that yours, Jesse? Going on? No, I'm not being hit, but I, I am getting uh, I posted the tower, so I'm starting to get some. I think I'm on silent here, but I'm starting to get some comments. Where'd you post it? Uh, I, I post to Instagram and it auto shares it to Facebook. Oh. So Facebook's pretty light for me, uh, it's mostly Instagram. Oh, there you go. Should do pretty well. No biggie. Oh my God! I see. I, I see that this huge tower that Jesse Frick's Galaxy did. It's like super uber cool. <laughs> I'm gonna say I love it. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. Somebody will say I love it three thousand. So no. <laughs> one guy said he knows the arc. He loves that he uh, knows the arc reactor is in the first floor. So getting to see it built step by step over a few days this week. Uh, the lower half, anyway. I'm going to light that thing up, though, so I'm not done. I am not done. This was like prototyping the weight of the tower, and uh, it is not done. I might even do another level. I'm contemplating another level right now. I could square it off under the tower and do another level, and it would have another tiered look, and... Uh, so not quite sure about the way it looks. Like you can see the base plate. I'm looking right at it. Yeah, might get one more level. Maybe one more lever, huh? Yeah, because it's like it's too, there's too much of a patio, if you will. You know, it goes, it tears in very lightly from the base. The uh, mills is just two studs in and then two studs in. And this is uh, four plus the tower. Um, boy, on this side, it's four, six, seven, seven. I could build a, another little uh, level in there. Go big or go home. No problem. Staring right at you. It's holding good, so that that was that was the point tonight. Make sure it held. So celebrating with the 
Dos Cerveza. As you mm -hmm. add bubbles, make sure it's still solid. Yeah. It, this this second level here was the key. And uh, I want to, you know, in the re arc reactor, I still want a, a safety column in there. <laughs> and then uh, the next level should be, it'll just be square to square right under the base. Uh, I think it needs one more. I hope I got enough green sand green windows. I've got, I think I do. Well, it's getting a little thin. That's <laughs> all I got left of the sand green windows. It's enough, though. I think that's enough. I'll make it. That'll be where I have to make it work. I don't know if I can do the same. I got my windows in pairs of four, 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 four there. So there's 12. Oh, this side's only four, four, four. That's, uh, well, that's 12. This is 16. I'll figure it out when I build it. <laughs> As you go. I just kind of let the parts guide my, guide my way. But thanks to Wagner on the stream, gave me a little pointer on this. Uh, it's going to be the middle level now. <laughs> Two of the three I make. Oh, so you're going to build another level to go up one more higher? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't like the transition. I think it it doesn't. It it comes into it's shallow. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more level right in here where it sits. Tear it in again like a wedding cake, you know. Yep, keeps there you tearing go. smaller, smaller, smaller uh, levels, and then the tower kind of has that shape too. I don't know if you go smaller though; you might not be able to get as high as uh, Iceberg's tower. No, yeah, I mean, well, it's going to be another, yeah, it's going to be another uh, twelve feet. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Forty-three. If I need five inches to get to the forty-eight. I'm thinking of only four right now. Three. Where's my tape? I'll figure it out. And then I got to work on the lighting. So I still probably got the, uh, the weekend. I'll, I'll probably get pretty far this weekend if I don't stay at the museum tomorrow. There you go. You know, if you're if you're a half an inch taller than than you you know the other one, then you can you know send out you know little messages like. I'm bigger than yours. <laughs> you know he'd remake his, so it's like one inch taller then. Oh yeah, he was already like I'm thinking of remaking mine too. I'm like okay. <laughs> and then Troy has one too. I think Troy already has the base like this. Let me know how tall yours gets so I can adjust. I just want it to fit in in my city, so. My Fisk Tower is pretty tall, and the Daily Bugle is, you know, a good 36 inches. Did you for, like, that the Lego Daily Bugle, or is that your custom? My custom one. Are you going to get the Lego one? I'll get the new one for sure for the figs and to build it and all the details, all the Easter eggs. And I'm not sure that I like the that you know it's a skyscraper i don't know i'll have to build it to see if, whether i actually like um i don't have i don't think it has enough color somebody at the lego store was saying it's going to be about as tall as the ghostbusters uh ecto uh um base or whatever you want to call it the the building it's going to be twice the size of ecto headquarters Oh, they were saying that they that they had it partially built in the back, and it and it looks like it's only going to be about as tall as one of those. But no, no. I've got the Ghostbuster headquarters. It's going to yeah, be that, twice. It's going to be twice that tall. The other thing, of course, too, is you know when you look at Legos in a bag, and then you look at them when they get built up into the center. Yeah. You know, 
few Legos it takes to build a big bit, you know, a big building like that. Yeah, even this one, it's like. Well, I'll just uh, let it simmer tonight, and uh... no animals to knock it down, right? You don't have any cats or dogs, right? No, we have a cat upstairs, but it doesn't come downstairs. No, no pet birds to land on the landing platform, right? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm, I mean, I probably should leave it and see if it actually sinks, but I, I don't know that I'm gonna leave it on there tonight like that. I that's should probably. All that, that's all you need to do is wake up tomorrow morning and find that sucker on the floor. Wake up to <laughs> what the hell? Like nothing even was. Leave the window open because it's hot. We don't have the air conditioning on yet. Yep, need something to live in that. You need to live, have something live in the tower, like a gerbil or something. <laughs> this would be a perfect time to put your webcam on and leave it roll all night. <laughs> Willie, what up, Jesse's? I thought you were at a graduation for your for your kindergarten class. Just got <laughs> home. Oh, okay. What's and up? Your mom didn't make you, and your mom didn't make you go to bed since you just graduated from kindergarten. That's that's terrible. You know, you can stay up late on graduation day. Yeah, that's true. You ain't got school tomorrow. <laughs> What's up, Juju? What's up, Willie? What's going on, buddy? Nothing. Just getting home. Ship the package. You ship the package? What kind of package did you ship? Uh, somebody brought some Lego from me. Really? Yeah. You know, you know, we forgot to talk about when we were mailing packages back and forth, right? What? What were you going to buy from me before the auction? You remember? Oh, yeah, that poly bag. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, that's right. He didn't say, hey, do you should I, should we do we need to, how much am I going to owe you for this? And then I've been like, oh, I'm like, oh, we can take that off what you owe me. And I didn't even think about it. You know what? You know what I saw it as I saw it as soon as I got home after mailing that, mailing that box out, I moved something. I'm like, oh, crap. I don't think about it. What poly bag are we talking about? A, a super secret poly bag. Okay, that works. Super soup. It's a super secret poly bag. An SSP. SSP. Super secret poly bag. Oh, Mike, you need to talk to Hoosier about your stuff with him. I told him what you said, and he said he already printed your shipping label. So I guess he's already paid for it. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> You know, I, I as soon as I paid the bill to you, I thought about that, and I'm like, shit, if y'all are going to get together, <laughs> it, it, it's a stupid. But, I mean, I bet you his are only like three bucks because, I mean, they're only minifigures. Yeah. I just, yeah, I mean, I, I sent uh, the, the little, I added the sig figs to the box, and then, of course, I, I added a special extra for Brett. You know, I mean, some I might have to gift maybe a couple, but then if nothing else, some of them might be possible future purchases that he can just owe me on or something. Just, you know, if I'm digging and we're sending him a box, I mean, provided there's room. I mean, it's not very big, but I mean, provided there's room, makes sense to just send some crap now, you know. If we're, yeah. if, we're if we're pulling it all together anyways, might as well throw some more in there and then worst case. If, I'm hoping that Brett's not listening, but I'm sure he's not. But uh, he's pissed that I won't sell him a Lone Ranger train. <laughs> That's the way you want it. I had one at one time. I think we got through support. I have no idea what happened to it. It's somewhere in my crap, somewhere. Hey, Jesse, did you see the, the picture I posted on Instagram? Uh, okay, hold on. I'm chatting. Um, but I'm on Instagram, so let me see. Right here. You, don't, you don't get it, Reed. It's already going there. What's already going where? 
what he wants, but I'm not selling it to him. Oh, the well, the ninja thing? Huh? No, I put it in our superhero chat thing. It was a oh, in the superhero the, chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a picture of the Daily Bugle. Oh yeah. Everybody Everybody it. I didn't realize you guys were superheroes, man. Yeah, I know some superheroes. That's pretty cool. They, they were hold. building it at the store when I went. Oh in. yeah, I was like, "Wow, do you already have the bugle?" And he, he was, "Yeah, they were building it at the store, so you have personal photos of, of it getting half built." I had to go through the red tape just to take photos. <laughs> I was like, "Can I take a picture?" And they was like, "Well," and they, they all had to discuss it. And by, by the time <laughs> I got through, I took the pictures. <laughs> what do you think, Willie? Is that about a, a one third of it? That's like uh, that's the first floor. The first floor, yeah. Or this, yeah. <coughs> yeah, it was just the first floor. Oh, okay, I see inside. Yeah, that's just one level, yeah. Yeah, that's the trick with these skyscrapers is uh, you, from the outside, it looks like one, two, three, four, five windows, but it's only one floor yeah. <laughs> on the inside. I would... I it's one of those sets where I feel like I'm going to get it. And then today I saw what I saw and now I really want it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I obviously need it because it's a great value for the price point, number one. 25 figures. I thought it was going to be 400 bucks. 300 Okay. Um. Well, all those figures and the details and the Easter eggs, even though it, uh, it, half of them are probably stickers for newspapers. Uh, some of those newspapers might be uh, printed. Um, and the video screens is something I think I'm missing on my Daily Bugle is uh, maybe an upgrade for some billboards. Mm -hmm. So I got some ideas from it for sure. I'll, I'll buy it and build it, but uh, my city is, I kind of have two cities. I, well, I have the museum also, but I'm, right now my city is completely uh, Spider-Verse. So I need to do a video and post. Now that I have this kind of done, I was going to do a city update with an all Spider-Verse city. Cool. Yeah, I got to ride the hype, the Daily Bugle hype. Yeah. I don't have any skyscrapers. I'm, I think the tallest modular I have is like the police station. Police station's getting there. <laughs> and I feel like if I put that in my city, it's going to be too much. But I have a back corner that I can put it in to where it'll be tall, but it'll be back in the corner. It okay. won't be the first thing you see when you walk in the room. So. The Bugle? Yeah. Yeah, it's about, you know, you want a skyline or a cityscape like a skyline, right? Yeah. So you don't want, like, just one big protruding uh, building. So right now I'm looking at uh, five different um, skyscrapers, if you will, in my city, my Spider-Verse city. And... They're ranging from two and a half feet to almost four feet. That's ridiculous. This one, I just, uh, yeah, I tested it out today. We met, put the measuring tape up. It's uh, 43 inches right now. But I'm not done. I think I want to do one more tiered level in here. And I uh, got to put lights in that arc reactor for sure. So since you did your daily bugle, are you, what you gonna do with this bugle? You gonna change it? Right. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I would probably change it. I'd love to uh, switch it up to like, if I could ever get my hands on maybe two or part the pieces and and <laughs> make it like bigger than the one because it looks like a piercing side skyscraper and now now that i have things like this it needs to be even taller 
the bugle set um and i've done it with the spider-man bridge by two of those bridges and put them together so you kind of have the mm -hmm. the cable arch bridge um su suspension bridge but uh what would be a good mod to it is to make it into parker industries instead of the daily bugle parker industries yeah so when peter gets older in some of the comics he mm -hmm. he gains a, a tech company and has his own like stark industries parker industries okay so um i definitely want to do like a, a parker industries tower at some point and i think the style of that one is it looks classic, but if you give it some maybe some futuristic mods and made it even taller because of what I'm putting it next to, uh, that would be a good uh, that would be a good uh, a good way to use the set and make it my own still. Could you, and it still be could you, change, could you change it into like the Oscorp building? Could be Oscorp, yep. Well, Baxter building? I got Baxter already. That's right, you did. But Oscorp, Oscorp is probably going to be good, like a good thing to do because it seems like that's where the MCU is headed. Yeah. Or Sony's Spider Verse, anyway, with whatever they might be doing with the Sinister Six. And uh, we'll see what happens later this year with. No way home. But yeah, Oscorp would be great. Uh, Troy did Roxxon, and a Roxxon building would be another great um, tower to build. Yeah. And Roxxon, we're going to see Roxxon and Loki. So once Loki drops, maybe we'll uh, get back to our super spoiler show and. Uh, and maybe get inspired for something else. So there, another thing in that Loki show is like seeing, like apocalypse, you know, uh, that the Stark Tower in, in ruins and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna do a whole city like that in apocalypse, but you never know. It's in, I think. Uh, what if you did it in like a uh, micro scale, a mini scale? Mini scale would be okay. I'm, I'm really liking some of the nano uh, habitats and stuff that I'm seeing online lately. Yeah. So I want to do uh, I want to do a habitat in nano scale, which might lead to lead to a, a pyramid of habitats that like maybe make a skyline or something. Yeah. That'd be a cool way to do it. Do we lose Reed? Is he falling asleep? <laughs> Three hours in, it's about the time he does his uh, back. <laughs> you start talking about superhero stuff, he gets quiet. Yeah, well, we're talking Lego superheroes. I guess we talk about the ice bears here. Come back. He's probably eating ice cream. That's probably what he's doing. Yeah, mom probably came down. Um. Man, yeah, I haven't been to the Lego store in forever. I know I started the stream that way, and so maybe I need to make make a trip to the Mall of America, Mike, and check out the pab pick a brick wall. Well, according to what I understood, there was some clear there are some clear one by one plates on there earlier, but according to what I've understood from talking to some employees that are in the lug, they are not there any longer. They were sold out today. A one by one, uh, I'd want yeah. one by twos. I don't know one by two. Sorry, yeah. I could use what, a comp. Oh, what was Reed, it? What Reed uses the oh, okay. the the little one by twos. I mean, uh. One by ones wouldn't be that bad either. 
but you need, you know, one by twos are so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you catch uh, Bad Batch? Since we're doing our own, <laughs> we can do a little superhero spoiler show. <laughs> you know what? I haven't caught today's episode. Okay. <clears throat> but so far, so far I'm liking it. But I'll tell you what I don't like about it. Sure. I don't like the fact they got this kid in it. Yeah. Because to me, that puts it too close to the same thing of Mandalorian. Right. A lot of story arcs actually are. So, yeah. I mean, the last week show to me, last week show to me seemed kind of like that episode when uh, they were on that planet with the spiders. Yeah, I was like, oh no, don't do spiders. And then it was something different. So I was like, okay. It was a different animal, but it was like the same thing. It did seem like the same type <laughs> of uh, plot. Yeah, so if if the plot of Bad Batch is about this kid, the way Mandalorian is about Grogu, pretty much, I'm not going to enjoy it. Yeah, well, it, maybe they'll go dark with her or something. I, it, she, I'm guessing her powers, are like, they're all enhanced clones, right? She's a, another enhanced clone, so... She seems to be uh, like the taskmaster to me. She yeah. can see a skill, like she watches a blaster, like um, she watches them pilot the ship and she learns how to do it right away. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I thought the Bad Bear was going to be about them. Yeah, okay. well, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's them escaping but yeah they, they've got a whole nother loophole with her uh, angle with uh omega yeah but i do think this will explain the that time period between the clones and them recruiting soldiers between clones oh yeah and clones. Um, this um, is going to ex explain that transition the early days of the Empire angle is way cool. Uh, Wagner's yeah. in the chat now. Hey, Wagner. Um, I think the Crosshairs troop that he uh, had in this, the last episode you saw yeah. uh, took out the insurgents, if you will, <laughs> uh, are leading to a sect or whatever of dark, like the first death troopers. Oh. Because they have the black. They yep. almost look already like a death trooper uh, as the helmet kind of changes and crosshairs is different and uh, he can actually shoot. <laughs> yeah, he's so, about the only one. So since crosshairs can actually train properly... Uh, whether they're clones or or humans uh, to to actually hit something, I think they'll actually lead to the first uh, Death Watch or Death Trooper that uh, they use in Rogue One. Yep, that makes sense. And well, it, it'll be a limited, you know, and that's why it's like it's they couldn't do that across the whole Empire because they're battling their own, uh, internal battles, you know, with. Uh, Tarkin and the other guy. Um, so he gets to do his, there'll be this select, this, you know, special ops death trooper scenario that I think will, will directly be rooted to crosshairs. Wagner saying that, yeah, we, we might see a redemption story with, uh, Re, uh, crosshairs eventually switching back. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you think he's going to um, switch back and get back with the team? Uh, when I saw episode two, I definitely had those thoughts. But when I saw episode three, and you know the other uh, human leader wanted to take over and was giving them crap, and and, the, and basically was like, "All right, shoot these." these innocent <laughs> right. insurgents 
and finish the mission and they didn't do it and he's like boom all right you guys do it or you're gonna get killed either i think he's too far down that that trail um i think i i would rather see like like i'm alluding to uh um an origin story of death troopers from him and stay staying bad but the redemption story could still be a part of like so and i don't know because they didn't do it this episode but wrecker keeps getting knocked in the head and having headaches he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna have trigger a, that chip it's going to trigger that chip, right? And Order 66 is going to tell him to be a good soldier, but uh, uh, he's got a huge relationship with Omega that will probably draw him back. Um, but they're not quite far and along. But, like, yeah, last episode he had a headache the whole time. And then in this episode, what is he gets shot again or he falls out of the ship or whatever. <laughs> He's always getting uh, banged up. He uh, the last episode I saw the uh, what's his name was making that chip reader thing or something. Uh, he was making to scan the chip or read the chip or something. So I was wondering in this episode, which I'm gonna watch after, this, yeah, if that came into play some kind of way. Yeah, tech is still working on a way to uh, scan the chip and maybe like reverse it. I believe he's trying to reverse it for other clones, right? Not he's not really worried about his teams per se, is it, but maybe save some other clones that are out right. there, like that uh, might be you that know, big crosshair, but like 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 we know Rex and his party are 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 doing their own thing yeah i actually like this team i've always been a fan of the clones and rex and clone wars and stuff yeah when i finally watched it i'm not a star wars fan but i am story i'm a fan of some of the stories i yeah. like the clones i like the whole rex yeah. angle and i like that stuff i don't want to jinx it but um uh... They made Dave Filoni uh, ex like a higher executive producer of storytelling. Mm. Like just recently, um, like officially, he's like executive producer of the storyline in, in Lucasfilm. So I think, I hopefully he's not out of ideas. It can't hurt, I don't think. Um, he's been, yeah, I agree. Clone Wars was epic. Uh, the finale was returning and doing that finale was just great. Seems like he has he knows he knows the characters to kind of pull on. Yeah. Without like he just I, knows the he just knows Star Wars. So like he you know, uh, breathes breathes Star Wars. It's just yeah. amazing. I agree. Uh, Kevin says executive creative director or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was promoted. Yeah. Just recently he was promoted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, 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 I just hope it don't go downhill. I don't. Yeah. I mean, we're on a good pace here. A Mandalorian, you know, we'll, we'll go back in his. You know, uh, Clone Wars was great, and then he stepped, had to step, you know, they, they canceled that for whatever reason, but it wasn't a part of Disney yet. The Rebels was, I think, pretty good. And Mandalorian was freaking amazing. So we're going to get a great uh, Ahsoka story out of this, and we're going to get more Obi-Wan. And that's where we'll really be able to tell because that's where you're pulling on the OG storyline, right? You're actually filling in the blanks of Ben Kenobi 
on Tatooine. Uh, watching over baby Luke from afar. That'll be very interesting. That is true. And it'll be tricky. Like that, that's where he could fumble. Like there's probably no, you can't please everyone, right? So there's no, there's no perfect way to tread that water. Like, I don't know how he's going to, but if, if anybody's going to do it, he's like, just like, just like Kevin Feige has almost done a perfect job on the MCU. I know he's getting a little backlash on uh, whitewashing the ancient one. And, uh, Which they say they apologize for. Yeah, and I'm glad he came out like and just said, you know, like I don't think it was like uh, uh, an issue until he, somebody maybe asked him or because there's a lot of uh, Eastern stuff coming up with Shang-Chi and Right. I don't know if you've tried to watch Kung Fu on CW. Um, no, I haven't. Uh, it's okay. It's not like I, 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 when I run out of things to watch, I start pulling stuff like that up. What's what else? We're going to get into it. Did you watch Jupiter's Landing? No, I haven't had a chance. I saw Doc said it was good, I think. Yeah. But I haven't had a chance. It's good and, yeah, kind of gory, a little bit gory on that invincible kind of angle. But uh, nice to see that there's superhero storytelling that, like, we don't have to keep uh, recycling Spider-Man. There's some new stories out there. I am, uh, I'm in the middle of a series on Netflix I'm trying to get through, non-superhero related, so I can get through that and start watching other stuff. Yeah, anything good? No, it's like a kid uh, Nickelodeon show that I start watching and I can't stop until I get through with it now. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Because <laughs> I'll watch anything as long as it's enjoyable. Yeah, I I put on a couple of episodes of uh, Love, Death, and Robots. You can watch like a 15-minute uh, animated uh, show, and it's kind of like Black Mirror uh, twists. The first episode of this new season was uh, like a, a Roomba uh, robot vacuum attacking it like... <laughs> going ballistic on the homeowner it was a robot vacuum <laughs> yeah yeah they had the robot vacuum and it's just cleaning the floor and then and then like the owner like fixes a picture and then the robot puts it back and the owner puts it back and then they go back and forth and <laughs> it into a, like a whole dilemma of the robot turning on its master and it, it's a it's animated right so it, it's not uh, so it's kind of it's more funny than mm. and uh, and uh, that one was really a good good way to kick off that show. Um, is Reed sleep? I don't know. Reed, are you here? Kevin's trying to get in. It, yeah, Kevin would probably love to. <laughs> he probably wants to get in on the Star Wars. Talk. I don't even see him sitting there. He changed the camera or something. But he, he could just be sitting there sleeping. I think he's sitting there because I think he leaned back. His ki his keyboard is there. I have not seen his hands for a while. Maybe but he got up. What do well, we need? Maybe, maybe he went to the bathroom. You know, he has been drinking. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while, though. We've been, we've been chatting for probably... Oh, uh, half hour now. <laughs> Since uh, Willie joined the room, he let Willie in and then just went away. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. We are watching the chat, though. Um, We'd love to let you in, but we can't. Kevin would, uh, uh, if you ever want to be on, uh, at, when I bring it back, the superhero spoiler show, um, it's kind of a, uh, 
something that uh, grew out of this uh, Friday Night Bricks. So anyone's uh, welcome to let let me know. Um, not going to do it until Loki starts. It's going to probably become a Disney Plus spoiler. <laughs> Did you know uh, that uh, Lois and Superman Lois came back? Yeah, I saw I this. Know. Yeah. They came back last week. It wasn't even this week. You just gotta pay attention. They they flip flopped. Uh, Supergirl uh, had had kind of uh, a mid season finale, uh, if you will. I think you know with her Phantom Zone and her father, and they almost escaped. Mm -hmm. And then they brought Superman and Lois back, and uh, yeah, more drama at the football team. And and uh, yeah, I'm a, I haven't watched neither one. I've got to catch yeah, okay. that too. I won't say anything, man. but yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, my wife's seen it, so it's kind of like trying to keep her from talking about it. It's ridiculous. What about what about the Nevers? Did you have you uh, tried to watch the? I think that's an HBO one. Nevers. The the Nevers. It's kind of superhero ish, kind of steampunk British era. Um, <laughs> Kevin has a question about your stream. Uh, he would be interested so what night do we typically... So I was doing Fridays, right before Friday Night Breaks, and then it was too much to watch a Friday show and do the spoiler. <laughs> so I moved it to Sunday. Is Reed back? Reed, are you here? Yeah. I've been uh, here what I, talking about. Kevin wants to in the back room. He's been in the back room for two hours. I don't know what you're talking about. What you don't <laughs> Did Reed wake up? <laughs> See, I think, he, I think you're lying. I think he's fibbing. He's fibbing. Maybe he's just oh, he's chatting. He's what the heck? Oh, look who woke <laughs> up. <laughs> he's maybe, no, I, been, yeah, he's maybe been back there for 15 oh, minutes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kevin, so... So I used I did it uh, right before this stream because it kind of sprung out of this, but it was too much to do on Fridays. So I moved it to Sunday, and we did all of Winter Soldier from uh, all six weeks and, and some uh, on, on Sundays. But so the best topics seem to be the Disney Marvel shows. So I'm waiting for Loki to drop. Yeah. And now I hear Loki's on a Wednesday. <laughs> what, so what time I, of night have you been doing it? Um, seven o'clock ish, uh, okay. Central. Uh, Sunday, Sunday was noon though. Sunday was noon. Mm. Thursday at seven, I might be able to make. Thursday at seven, okay. Yeah, my nights are a bit busy with the kids, but usually seven o'clock works on Thursdays. For me, I, I can't do Thursdays. I think you should still leave it as Sunday. <laughs> you like the sun? Yeah, I like it when we have a couple of days because it was like doing homework, um, trying to cram it in on the same day of the show, and uh, all that. All that works when you have a huge following to be the first on online. We 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 just want to geek out and talk to each other about these things. So a few days is, is even better because more people. Will, uh, got caught up. Yeah, because if it's on a Wednesday, some people might not, might not see it until the weekend. No, anymore. yeah, even if we did Thursday right after Wednesday, it'd be like, uh, we could do that. Um, Boone started a Thursday night stream now, so mm -hmm. it could be the hour before Boone. <laughs> True. Because uh, he goes late. He's He's West Coast, so he's like, late for me actually they did a first episode of brick uh brictorious and it was yeah because it wasn't moto on there and a few other people holly and yeah brian bricks of brian was on there but uh, throwing it out there yeah we're so we but if you want to talk more bad batch and star wars stuff uh willie didn't see this episode yet today. yeah yeah i heard that um I think the I didn't I wasn't that impressed with the Bad Batch in season seven of Clone Wars, but I think they've done a much better job of 
of fleshing out the characters a bit more this season. So, um, and I think the, I think Omega is much less annoying than Ahsoka, Kaz, or Ezra were when they first started. So, right. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah. What do you think the end game for Omega is going to be? I think, I mean, Jess might be right. We, we kind of saw some hints of her power um, in the first episode or two. Because, uh, I mean, she's probably going to become a pretty major player, but I don't, I don't know exactly what the power is going to be. Because you'd think for the role that she's in, it's going to be, she's probably going to be really smart or she's going to be able to understand things very quickly or essentially manage a lot of things at once. So, who one knows? Of the, uh, one of the kids at the museum is a big uh, Clone Wars kid and was saying he thought her powers were all of the other Bad Batch. So she's like... You know, oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of had that thought too. Like she was in her cloning, she had all of what they had. That could be because she's she was really strong in that first or second episode. I don't remember what it was, but at some point she was much stronger than she should have been. And she could shoot the she first did. shot was like dead on. Yep, that too. Yeah, I but think she, it's she more, lifted or pulled know. something that she shouldn't have been able to in the first or second episode, I thought. Yeah, I, I think it would be more interesting if she had like the Taskmaster's powers, uh, mm -hmm. basically, and uh, like a copycat type power. She's, she's copying Hunter track and learning how to track, and seeing crosshair shoot and seeing how to pilot the you know all these things, um, and so she will have all the Bad Batch powers, but it could be even more than that. Yeah, as long as she doesn't turn into an Uber character. Because then those get kind of boring when they can just do everything. Because then you have to put something impossible in front of them to even challenge them. It's like the Superman syndrome where he's so right. strong you have to have extremely powerful. Well, I mean, guys. I'm not even saying she has the force. She's yeah. just like super skilled. Um, yeah, I think yeah. the 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 Camino um, interactions with the empire and kind of the not broadsword, whatever that um, effort they're making. I think that stuff on the empire side will be interesting, but they're, they're kind of following that basic adventure storyline so far that doesn't really necessarily necessarily forward the story too much. I mean, they had some stuff with um, that one seat or one uh, episode had a, uh, Saw Guerrera in it, but yeah, yeah, that was pretty. I mean, it looked like it was going to be something critical, and then it's just all. Oh, I guess he's on Alderaan, and now he's gone, right? Yeah, he's so we'll see. Because I, I, I like back in the day, I watched um, Smallville, and that was that was a show where one out of three episodes advanced the general storyline of the show, and then the other two were just mutants that showed up with weird powers and they had to fight them off. And I feel like Bad Batch is the episodes are somewhat yeah we fix this little thing or we encounter this but it's not really moving the storyline that much so we'll see uh i don't know i think you know if, you, if you're watching omega she's like a learning yeah. she's like getting, gaining skills at each episode and uh yeah um, i mean if this turns into the story of omega then that maybe that's gonna be a bit different it's just Right. We, we'll know better by the end of the season, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, first, sad, it's only been three or four episodes, so it's hard to say at this point. But I did like the hour and a half first episode drop. That I think oh, that helped yeah. a lot. Yeah. The droids were funny in this last. One. If it wasn't for Mandalorian, I think I would enjoy this better. Oh, but Mandalorian's phenomenal. But Mandalorian I mean, is great. It's and so well they done. Handled this. Anything so, else that comes with a, somebody and a baby or somebody and a kid, I'm going to compare it to that. So, yeah. really, uh, you haven't watched it yet, but they bring a character from The Mandalorian into this episode. What? Spoiler alert, Jesse. <laughs> oh, Jesse. <laughs> I didn't see no, who I mean, it was. I rewatched season two of The Mandalorian again, and, like, I mean, all the episodes are good. Like, episode... 
what is it, episode two, The Ice Planet is probably my least favorite, but it's still a good episode. Um, and then episode seven and eight are just awesome. Episode four, where they meet the Mandalorian, the other Mandalorians is awesome. I mean, it's such a, the whole, that whole series has been phenomenal. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, my favorite uh, by far, I think. Yeah. If you consider it a movie, the whole series, which I think you should should and it's consider better than a movie. Way, I mean, any you know, if it's eight, six episodes, whatever it is, even just like the Disney Plus stuff, you know, WandaVision should be just considered a full spectrum of a movie, you know, and, and placed side by side with some of the other the other movies right now. Even the Mandalorian filler episodes are good. Yeah, yep. Like that episode, might not be the best, but you know they're the filler. Yeah, like the episode, on, the first season, the episode on Tatooine where they go off looking at, or uh, he goes after the the bounty with that kid. That one's, that was probably my least favorite. And the one on the planet that they have to fight the ATSD, those are probably my two least favorite episodes so far, and they're not that bad. Yeah. But the one thing you can really see is you can t- you can tell who's directing each episode. And yeah, they have such an impact on each one. It's a bunch of different directors. Mm-hmm. And the ones and there are certain ones that I just love their episodes. So yeah. Well, I think I'm going to end the live portion. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Reed. <laughs> That's what Star Wars does. It, it drives everyone off, doesn't it, Reed? No, just, you know, 